And hello from the Heldenstadt, as it's known, the city of heroes. The venue is the Red Bull Arena. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It's RB Leipzig facing Bayer Leverkusen. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will have... And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. And Leipzig get us moving again. A quick reply required after the disappointment of conceding. He has teammates around him. Really getting stuck in. And very deftly cut out. Andres Silva. Surely the equaliser. Well, he tried in vain to get himself back on side. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. Now a decent position. Jamie Abai. Well, what a start that was. Over it comes. An alert piece of defending. And they need to get tighter. But the danger averted for now. Hudson O'Doy. No worries for the keeper. Andre Silva. So Bosloy. Really poor timing, and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card. Well, not a million miles away from the equaliser. Well, he couldn't quite get it on target, but at least they're making chances now. Kerem Demirbay. On to Diaby. And played to the front post. Will it be? Demirbay. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Emil Forsberg. Forsberg. Well, there it is. Leverkusen just haven't had that much of the ball. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Interception to snuff out the danger. Creative look about this. Well, that's one for them to pursue. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Well, a nearly moment just over the top. Nkunku. He continues his run. Being egged on by the crowd. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Schlager. Well, he had the confidence to try it, but just couldn't execute. Beautifully disguised ball. Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to the lead. Can he deliver it with accuracy? 
Well, the referee indicates that we've reached the halfway mark here at the Red Bull. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Well, he could run onto it here. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control. Error by the keeper. Well, trying to place that one. Didn't get it quite right, though. Vili Orban. Well, he was one of the better players in the first half, but needed to be better still. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, I think he's been a little bit off the pace today. Yes, he's been tightly marked, but he hasn't done enough to receive the ball in space. I think he's got to work a lot harder in the second half. Moussa Diaby. Demirbay has it. Well, visionary passing. Oh, how on earth has he missed that? What a glorious opportunity. Well, the flag's gone up and he was offside, but he didn't know that when he took his shot. Plenty of support here. Chic. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Nkunku. Great opportunity. Pivotal moment defensively. Kerem Demirbay. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Hudson Odoi. And Patrick Schick now. And the keeper got there. Can someone get on the end of this? Twenty minutes to go. Can they hit on the break? Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Well, Leverkusen have had so much of the ball in the last 15 minutes and look like scoring every time they go forward. They do need to extend their lead, though, while they're playing so well. Intelligent threaded pass here. Diaby. Can he do it from miles out? And still an opportunity. And relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Nkunku. Andri. Well, in the closing stages here, and Leipzig are up against it in terms of the scoreline. Well, their attacking play has been too slow, it's lacked penetration, and at times it's looked devoid of ideas. But can that change in the final few minutes here? It only needs one moment of magic. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Being egged on by the crowd. Schlager. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Well, this might be the final opportunity to draw level. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. And can they exploit the space out wide? 
So that will be all for this game and a bad day at the office. It is Bayern Munich against Borussia Dortmund. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Making progress is Royce and options around him. And they have possession again. Well, now he's let that run out of play and it will be a throw in here. Well, here is the Bayern side. Manuel Neuer stands between the posts. Matthijs de Ligt plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Leroy Zane plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And a this tactical sets up a brilliant save. Well, Bayern have it back now. He's really opened them up here. Just couldn't get it through. Throw in then for Bayern. Mane. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. De Ligt. Sadio Mane now. Determined defending. Shupomoting. Credit to them for winning back possession. Yusufa Mukoko. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Determined defending. A very good tackle. And Bellingham, really vital interception here. Mane. The high press was very much on. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Well, a successful intervention, winning the ball back. Chupomotin. Well, a bit of a disappointing finish. Giovanni Reina. Feeding it through here is Reis. Well, it all counts for naught. Shupomoting. Oh, lovely incisive pass. 
And this might not be the ideal situation for them. Goretzka. Read it well. Goretzka. Goretzka! Well, hit with power and almost the right precision. An alert intervention. Sané. Now with Bellingham. He has teammates around him. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And keeping it out. Who can he pick out? So the whistle then. We're up the half. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. And a good tackle. Good use of advantage for Dortmund. The cross is on. Good pressure high up the pitch. Goretzka. Let's see if the pass will pay dividends. Royce. Now it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper. Well, as you can see, it's been really tight and neither side has taken enough risk going forward. Hopefully that will change soon and then we might get some entertainment. Joshua Kimmich. Zane has it. Read it superbly to take back possession. Well, it was a promising avenue of attack, but the momentum has been halted. And you wouldn't be surprised to see the card handed out. Decent technique, but the goalkeeper did his job. And a corner to Borussia Dortmund. Chance perhaps for them to take the lead if they get it right. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. And the counter looks on here. Options available. He's in behind. The defender put in the challenge. And it might be a red card. Davies. Just made sure nothing came of that. Marco Reis. Return to Guerrero. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. High echelon goalkeeping there. And delivered by Rafael Guerrero. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Guerrero. Opportunity to take the lead. Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now. And into the last 20 minutes. He's got the right idea with that pass. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. He's showing a real will to win the ball. Mane. A glorious chance. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Teammates available. And flag raised offside.
Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. Bellingham. Marco Reis. Superb block. Reis. And the flag is up. Offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. Goretzka. Choupo-Moting has it. Well, visionary passing. And the alarm bells are ringing. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And a strong tackle. Oh, what an opportunity. Well, when it's you against the goalkeeper, I'm sorry, you've got to do better. Bellingham. And the pass could do damage. Just needs to stay calm. Well, he gave us a go with power, but he might be having second thoughts about that now. Well, as you said, he's gone for power, but he's not even close in the end. And so the referee blows for full time. A satisfactory... ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis is Stuart Robson and looking forward to bringing you action from the Bundesliga it's Bayer Leverkusen versus Eintracht Frankfurt well Derek we can talk about coaches and their methods but it's now down to the players which ones are going to stand out who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire it should be a cracking game though can they trouble the opposition this time well disappointing end to the move And he has options available. Rode. It's with Almami Toure. Ndika. Pellegrini. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Kerem Demirbay. 
What a shame, really, because the move was promising, but no end product from them. Bore. So. Rode now. Ndika. Rode. Excellent passing. Toro Muani. Intercepting it intelligently. Schick. Paulinho. Just the challenge that was required. Well, they've given him too much space. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. And Patrick Schick now. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Oh, he's really up on the map here. Well, good work to deny the opportunity. Played over. Well, far from the ideal header. And the goalkeeper had it all the way. And showing fine vision. Well, he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he just delayed the pass, didn't he? That was a great opportunity. Gibril so. Oh, great defending. Can they forge ahead? No, chance missed. And a big chance at that, Derek. He should have put them in the driving seat there. Kerem Demirbay. Now Boré. And very deftly cut out. A terrific pass. The supporters want to see him have a go. Spot on with that tackle. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Toure. Futa. It's with Almami Toure. Toro Muani. Ndika. Very comfortable when in possession. Futa. And no more time left. That concludes. So back underway here into the second half. Very quick thinking there. Kerem Demirbay. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Gibril So. Well, they might be onto something. Just couldn't capitalise there. Paulinho. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Interception to snuff out the danger. Cheek. DFE. High quality defending. They're racing away here. They could nudge in front. Tenacious tackling, excellent defending there. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. 
Well, that's not great, is it? There's been a real lack of quality in the game. The passing speed... You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking it to come, you would think. Gibril so Alario. Just as well from the defensive point of view that he was able to make that interception. Piero in Capier. He's given us away. Damia Bay. Well, the keeper had to concentrate. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, and it goes at long last. Deadlock broken. Will that be the one that gives them the win? What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Paulinho. And space to cross it. It's a weighted pass, but mistimed his run. Well, he's got the timing all wrong there. He just needs to bide his time. And given away by Leverkusen. A quarter of an hour remaining here. It's got to be! Could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Border. And it's going to run through to the keeper here. Jeremy Frimpong. Beautifully weighted ball. Just the tackle that was needed. Diaby. Oh, lovely ball. Well, not cleared away completely. Damia Bay. There to win it back. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Well, the keeper was hoping someone might get on the end of it, but it will be a throw-in. On the attack in the closing phase. And that will be that. The referee's whistle for full time.
Signal Iduna Park. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It is Borussia Dortmund versus RB Leipzig. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield... Can they stop it going in? And problem solved for now. Well, so close to getting that early goal there, but it was a wonderful save by the keeper, you have to say. Well, in possession now and looking to create something of their own. Bad pass. Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Rafael Guerrero starts with Thomas Munier as fullbacks. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player and brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? That's good goalkeeping. Well, Marco Reus, usually a potential match winner. Stuart, what are your expectations regarding his performance today? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Throw in here for Borussia Dortmund. Schlotterbeck. Now, options are plenty. But the danger averted for now. Nkunku. And Leipzig in a position of menace. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Jude Bellingham. It's with Guerrero. And he read it well. Guerrero. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Well, the keeper committed himself. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Schlager. Now here's Henrichs. Andres Silva. Werner. Can he convert? And that's sound um, goalkeeping to hang on to the shot like that. Minier. Zali Özcan with it. Really good block. Meunier delivered into the area here and not a header that was ever really going to trouble the goalkeeper well that's a really good authoritative tackle throw in here they've given it away Nico Schlotterbeck Guerrero. That's an effective cross. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Well, the keeper can breathe a big sigh of relief. Well, he can. That was so unlucky. How close was that? Well, that's not great, is it? There's been a real lack of quality in the game. The passing's been too safe, and there hasn't been enough movement from the front players. The recipe for a poor spectacle. And this is Royce. A chance to whip it in. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Must take the lead here. The referee's whistle. And so the first... So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened dangerous looking through ball 
And nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Werner. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Well, Marco Reus, a player we talk about a lot on the big occasion, but Stewart, has this been a bit of a below-par performance from him? Well, he struggled to have any real impact on the game. I think if they are to kick on in the second half, it's key that he sees a bit more. Oh, wait a minute. They could be in here. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. So, Bosloy. Werner with it now. And he did well to cut it out. Anthony Modest. Guerrero. And a chance to whip it in here. Royce. Well, no way through. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Oh, breezing past him. And the keeper more than equal to the task. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. Going short. Orban. Chance to put them in front. And the keeper's hand does the trick. Just 20 minutes remaining now. The referee has played advantage in Dortmund's favour. Jude Bellingham. And Bellingham. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. It's a good Dortmund move in the making. And there it is! The deadlock has been broken. We wondered if a goal would arrive. Well, now it has. And will there be a response now? What a big moment, in with a chance! Strong hand on that one. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. This could square the game, and it has! Such late excitement, and no wonder they're jumping for joy as we speak. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. And they grab the lead late on. Can he put them in front? He does! And with so little time left, that might be the winner. Wonderful drama. And he's through here. What a save! Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Oh, big chance! Can he finish? And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. And the attack fades out. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. He's just got to continue his run. Well, his accuracy deserted him at a crucial moment. Well, he had to score there. That's probably the game over now. They're making high pressing work for them here. This could be the equaliser. Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out the danger. And there goes the final whistle. No points picked up by Leipzig at all.
city of Frankfurt. We're at the Deutsche Bank Park. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It's Eintracht Frankfurt up against Bayern Munich. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And so they start at 11 for Bayern. Manuel Neuer begins in oh, goal. Oh, Derek, can he finish this? Couldn't quite hang on. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Well, they've started the game really brightly here, and they've looked dangerous. But that was a top-class save from the keeper. Brilliant from him. Well, not out of the woods just yet. This still could be dangerous. Takes it on. An early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. move this from Bayern Mane and with that the attack fizzles out Tuta Pellegrini Gibril So possession and patience the watchwords well that's a really good authoritative tackle throw in here now what on earth happened there? Mane. Must be! And a goal to level it up for Bayern. So the ball is rolling again at one all. So, Alario, really good challenge. Ndika, can they trouble the opposition this time? Tuta, it's with Ndika. Oh, that's a fine pass. Border. What a shot from miles out. It was going to take an audacious effort to beat the goalkeeper from there. De Ligt. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Rode. Pellegrini. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Shukomotin. Promising move. And here's Yasuo Kimi. Well, knocked on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Gibril So. It's with Almami Toure. So. Luca Pellegrini. Gibril So. It's with Almami Toure. Rode. And the emphasis is on creativity. But the danger averted for now. Choupo-Moting. Can he put them ahead? Still there for him. Well, there it is. That's going to do it. Into the second half, then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment.
Aladio. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest, as they haven't been at their best today. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they are to go on and win it. And teammates around him. Choupo-Moting. Oh, the flag's gone up, and there wasn't much in that. Rafael Santos Boré. It'll be an Eintracht throw in. Could cross it in here. An alert piece of defending. So, Puta. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Real chance. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well underway again. It's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Toure. I must say this looks promising. Bayern doing well to win back possession. Well, the keeper asking too much of his teammates on this occasion. Throw in to come. Mane. Textbook defending inside the box. Corner opportunity for Bayern. Well, it still could be dangerous. Upamecano must score. A oh, tremendous block. Alario. And he could well be sent off for that. Well, under those circumstances, any referee would really be put to the test. And in this case, a booking Stewart. Well, it's a difficult decision, but I'm with the ref here. No red card for me. Great defending. Alario. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Rode. Alario. Rode now. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Mane. How can they find a late leveller? Safe pair of hands. Did his job. So. could really get at the opposition Aladio Gibril so Rode so well tremendous block the referee blows for full time it ends at a victory for the home team no complaint
Hello and welcome to the city of Leverkusen. The venue for this game is the Bay Arena. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfielder Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Bundesliga in a matter of moments. It's Bayer Leverkusen, and they take on RB Leipzig. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Oh, nice ball over the top to Chase. Oh, majestic finish! He's going to be rightly proud of that moment. Magnificent! So the match is restarted. 1-0 here. Good-looking cross. He's showing good defensive judgment. And a good-looking ball. Werner. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. Plenty of support here. That's a nice looking ball. He's given it away. Nkunku. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Andri. Ta. Piero in Capier. Backer. Hudson Odoi. Might really be able to trouble them here. Well read to put an end to that attack. Timo Werner. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Damia Bay. Oh, not to be. That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Well, that could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. Kevin Camper. And there to intervene. Cheek. That is not going to do. Well wide of the target. Schlager. Sobosloy. Dangerous looking through ball. There it is. And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. So, a level contest. 1-1. Hudson Odoi. And good pressure high up the pitch. Damia Bay. A chance to whip it in. And the cross not sufficiently well played in. A foul, but advantage played. Well, nicely cut out. Andri. Well, he's given us away. And there it is, the half. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. And the timing was perfect, ball one. Good visualization and execution. Good work to win it back high up the pitch.
Mitchell Backer. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, he certainly got his team back into this game with that goal. Because up to that point, they hadn't played particularly well. I think he's had a decent first half, but he'll be looking to build on his goal in the second 45. And there's the feed into the box. Well, nothing comes of it. Timo Werner. Oh, they get the ball once more. Nkunku. Now room to roam on the wing for Leipzig. But if truth be told, he made it rather straightforward for the keeper. Well, he knows it. That is a real waste of a great opportunity. And he... Intercepting it intelligently. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. An effective ball. Flag raised for offside. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. And he has options available. Camper. And it's played into the centre. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Over it comes. Still not clear. It might be on for them. Nicely timed tackle. Piero in Capier. And Kunku has given it straight to the opposition. teammates around him that's how to dispossess your opponent they might be able to get in now well I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable and the reason it's off target because the technique was really poor on that occasion that's not a good effort and with that, the attack fizzles out. He's found a pocket of space. And Bayer Leverkusen still on the attack as the minutes tick away. A level contest. Diaby. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Can they take advantage of the situation? Can they forge ahead? And quite simply, a chance wasted. Well, with time running out, what an opportunity to take the lead there. Adli. And we will have just one additional minute. Damia Bay. Can he put them in front? And with that, the 90 minutes have come to an end. An even cut.
in the wide positions. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And he stopped them in their tracks. Musiala. Mane. Not a great pass. Brandt. Brandt. They've given it away. Plenty of options. Musiala. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such now, a... Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. ball is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be <laughs> Bellingham Reina Brandt Brandt Zani Uzcan with it Gives it a go! It's always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Who's Chan? Brandt with it. The referee has played advantage in Dortmund's favour. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Mane. Bayern need to create something. They have a corner. And foiled only by the crossbar. Oh, he saved it well. Behind for another corner. Can they cash in? Well, not cleared away completely. And in the end, no damage done. Determined defending. Well, that save just about keeps them in this, but they have to pose more of a threat at the other end. And keeping the ball out of their own net can lift confidence throughout the side. Now to take it away. Oh, that's an interesting pass. was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. Goretzka. Strong but fair tackle. Decent position for Dortmund to be in. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. So on the cusp of the interval and Dortmund with the lead, what have you made of what you've seen from them so far? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going at half-time if it stays like this. And with that, the sound of the half-time... So underway in the second half, and here's the big question from a Bayern point of view. Can they turn this around? Doesn't want to lose his cool here. Shukomoting. Guerrero. Reina. 
Well, it was a fine first-half showing by Julian Brandt. Sum it up for us. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And Bellingham. And that puts them in position. And a bit short with the clearance. Oh, a smart stop. Fired over by Guerrero. Well, no end product. Shupamoting. Goretzka. Mane. Oh, a tremendous block. They do like to press whenever they can. Breaking at pace. It did look as though they might be onto something for a second or so. And Royce puts it in. And a struggle to get it away properly. Well, it's off target. And the keeper can breathe a big sigh of relief. Well, what a chance that was. He should be scoring there. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. And Bellingham. Opportunity here. And the keeper did more than enough. And delivered by Rafael Guerrero. Any goalkeeper would accept corner kick deliveries like that every day. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. And coolly done in the end. Marco Reus. And he's through here. And they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. Joshua Kimmich. And he read it well, intercepting it. Brandt. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Bayern late in the game, battling against the clock and the scoreline. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Well, the Dortmund faithful are certainly playing their part here. The noise from that yellow wall has been incredible. Surely they're going to hang on now. But attacking possibilities. And Bellingham. This could be it! Oh, that sizzling from Neuer in goal. Well, that would have been game over. But unless they show more quality going forward, there's just no way back for them. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And there it is, the final whistle. Disappointment for Bayern Munich.
I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Bundesliga in a matter of moments. It's Eintracht Frankfurt facing Bayer Leverkusen. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And unable to keep possession. And a look at the 11 for Leverkusen. Lukas Radetzky is the goalkeeper. Callum Hudson-Odoi plays with Moussa Diaby on the flanks. And the striker is the very gifted Patrick Schick. Can they forge ahead? No! Chance missed! And a big chance at that, Derek. He should have put them in the driving seat there. Andri. Kerem Demirbay. He has teammates around him. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Christian Jakic. Not the pass he had in mind. chance to do damage Patrick Sheik he can't hold on to it and the referee has awarded a corner following that touch yeah. trying to pick out a teammate and reading it absolutely superbly Demia Bay can they take the lead and a goal! That will do it! They've been pushing for it, and now they've been rewarded. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Will they get themselves level here? A oh, tremendous block. Amin Adli. It's with Mitchell Backer. Damien Bay. Sheik. And it was a menace. In position. Terrific block. And over it comes. Well, no let up. Plenty of pressure. Rode. A useful cross well it didn't happen for them in attack and Patrick Schick now no hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead well that was a poor miss could they come to regret that and an astute piece of defending Good movement. And well, that's a super ball over the top. A mischievous effort. Oh, a finish of real class. No wonder he's celebrating. Take a bow. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. And Patrick Schick now. Now with Anadio. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Andri. Sheik with it. Well, there it is. The first half comes to... Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us.
Hudson Odoi laid into the box. And in fact, a good but straightforward claim by the keeper. Rode. Making progress. But quick thinking defensively. Jeremy Frimpong. Cheek, is it going to be? And that is defending of the highest order. Could be a chance to break here. They need to get bodies back. Could reduce the deficit. Good bit of pressing. Well, Leverkusen, as you can see, have enjoyed so much possession. And that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. And a goal here! Accuracy with the header. Just what they needed. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. 30 minutes to go then. A wonderful intervention. Koro Muani. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. Musa Diaby. Damia Bai. Sheik. Damia Bai has it. Perfect challenge. Into the final 20 minutes. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? And behind it's gone for a corner. Trying to pick out a teammate. And the cross goes in. And this situation could be dangerous. Making a bit of headway. Breaking at pace. In the right place to cut out the pass. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Attending to his defensive chores. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Pellegrini. And in the perfect position to read it. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. And under pressure, with more than a bit of danger following that challenge, he's already been booked. And his day is done. Second yellow card, Stuart. Well, I have to say, it was coming. Why was he not taken off earlier? And no way through. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Excellent ball over the top. Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. And that will be that. The referee's whistle for full time. Maximum...
Stadium. The tension palpable. It's Leipzig. They take on Borussia Dortmund and the... Good evening to you from a city that has become one of Germany's most visited in recent years. We're in Leipzig. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Bundesliga in a matter of moments. It's RB Leipzig facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Can they convert? Oh, not to be. An opportunity wasted early in the game. Well, maybe it's come a little bit too early, Derek, but that's a wasteful finish. And let's have a look at the starting 11 for Leipzig. Kevin Campo plays with Christopher Nkunku in the engine room. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Can he find the right pass? Guerrero. Determined defending. And here's the 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Thomas Meunier plays with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Julian Brandt plays with Giovanni Reina out wide. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Might be a chance here. Well, the keeper had a lot to do. Well, it's a great piece of goalkeeping. So quick off his line. Giovanni Reina. Now with Bellingham. Borussia Dortmund have given it away. Niklas Zule. A very effective challenge put in. Under real pressure defensively. Will they pay the price? Absolutely spot on with that challenge. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Options in the centre. Kunku. And with that, the attack fizzles out. He has teammates around him. Can he put them ahead? And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Rice. Brandt with it. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Just couldn't play that decisive ball. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Can he finish this? And by a wafer-thin margin, offside. Yusufa Mukoko. Now Minier. No danger here as he runs at them. Easy save. Well, this has to get better because, as those stats confirm, the attacking play from both sides just hasn't been good enough. It's all been a little bit too cautious so far. Nicely timed tackle. And so it is half time. The first half action is over here at the Red Bull Arena. So back underway here into the second half.
the advantage accrues to the attacking side. And a good tackle. Oh, skipping away. Brandt. And out of play it goes, alas. Getting in there to intercept. Crossing possibilities. And a chance for them to nudge in front. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. from the perfect effort you've got to say well he's got that all wrong hasn't he that's a terrible effort Giovanni Reina Dortmund unable to hang on to the ball can he find the right pass well the fans really want him to shoot oh must be was served up on a silver platter for him. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Good use of advantage by the referee. And will it be the level up? And collects it tidily. He had plenty to think about. And the referee blows for a foul. Nkunku. The ball with Kampu. Well, they keep passing away. Read it superbly to take back possession. And he could be in proper trouble here. Trying his luck from long range. Routine save. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. And it's Rice on the run. This could be the equaliser. Disappointing cross and gobbled up by the keeper. And into the last 20 minutes. Nkunku. Disappointing pass. Well, the stats don't lie. Dortmund have had lots of possession. Oh, wait a minute, Stewart. Look what's happening. Oh, denied by the keeper. Well, what more can you say? That's goalkeeping at its very best. Timo Werner. Now can they counter clinically? Nkunku. Now with Campo, can he put it in? Oh, a stellar piece of defending. He has teammates around him. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Guerrero. Here's Royce. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Well, a poor effort when all was said and done, and simple for the keeper. Well, he's made a real mess of that, hasn't he? What a chance that was. Dangerous looking through ball. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. They have to be bold, Borussia Dortmund, in these circumstances. He's got to clatter it away. Free kick awarded by the referee. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. And that will be all for this game as the referee blows the whistle. And
And the contest begins. Well, here is the Bayern side. Manuel Neuer stands between the posts. Benjamin Pavard plays with Alfonso Davies in the fullback positions. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide areas. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Is it going to be Zane? And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. 1 0 then. Alario. And he stopped them in their tracks. Uber Meccano. Plenty of running room in the wide position. And delivered towards the back post. Oh my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! So the ball rolling again at 2 0. Luca Pellegrini. A glorious chance. Keeping the ball moving. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. This wasn't a very good pass, finally. Supermotin. Fine work from Frankfurt to win it back. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. So, Horda now. Well, nowhere close to the goal when all was said and done. Well, from that sort of position, you should really be testing the goalkeeper. Has to hit the target. It's not a good attempt. Chupamoting. And Kimmich. And he read it well defensively. Now, who can he play it to? Can he finish? There it is! A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, 2-1 it is here. Really getting stuck in. Tuta. So... Tuta. Roda now. Ndika. Pellegrini. Tuta. Alario. Well, half time coming up shortly. It's a story of Bayern on top. Stuart, your take. Yeah, it's certainly been an open game. But on the balance of play, I think they do deserve their lead. They just have that little bit more creativity, particularly in the wide areas. Ndika. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Chandler. Not showing good defensive judgment. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Well, as you can see, Bayern have had much less of the ball. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Yes, really good without the ball. And the all-around performance levels have been high. A chance then for... The And the ball is moving again. Bayern Munich in front, but there might still be a few twists and turns before this match is over. Now to take it away. 
I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Must score! Well, there it is. Real resilience for you, having been two goals down. Not many sides would have the mental strength to bounce back from adversity like this team. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Puta. Eintracht with the ball again. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Luca Pellegrini. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Shupomoting has a go. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Now well, the game has been restarted. 3-2 here. Oh, and that challenge carried with it quite the element of risk. Now, what's the referee going to do next? Did well to win the ball back. Alario. He's in with a chance. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing. There for all to see. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. Well, possibilities in the centre. Border. Just the challenge that was required. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. From one side of the pitch to the other. Pellegrini. And now Ndika. Luca Pellegrini. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. And with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. Ndika. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. It did look on for them, but not to be. Leon Goretzka. Return to Zane. Davies. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. Tuta. Order now. Nicely cut out. And we will have just one additional minute. And so the referee brings the 90 minutes to an end. All even...
This is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. Good evening and welcome to Alcor. Welcome to the Al Bike Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the... Tw Can he make it count? And that's a corner. Let's see about the delivery. Well cleared away. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Well, no way to put a positive spin on that one. Disappointing. Well, I don't think he'll be on the next free kick, will he? That wasn't good at all. Sasha Lukic. Tadic has it. Dusan Vlahovic. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Maeda. Oh, big chance! the post well able to survive that attacking push well they won't come closer than that so unlucky not to take the lead there very quick thinking there Morita applying vigorous pressure. Plenty of support here. Andrea Zipkovic. Vraovic. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Hidamasa Morita. And unable to keep the ball. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Oh, he's only gone and found the net! What purity of hit! Caught it absolutely perfectly! And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Strong but fair tackle. Will he finish? And it goes! Two goals in rapid fire fashion and looking very comfortable here. We're back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Sasha Lukic, Tadic, determined defending, Morita, Maeda, and an astute piece of defending, Zivkovic, Vraovic, Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. And crossing towards the far post. Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved the goal. It's looking promising. And a good take under duress there. Very timely interception. The first half he So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect.
Well, they have the ball once more. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it. Endo. Now a decent position. Can he take the chance? Oh, a stellar piece of defending. And a poor ball. Kostic. Good use of advantage by the referee. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Yoshida. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. And a chance to whip it in here. He must finish! Well, such a high degree of difficulty, not quite in the end. Well, how good was that? It's such a difficult piece of skill, which he made look so easy. That deserved a goal. Mitrovic. And the ball with Milinkovic, Savic. Can they create something from here? Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Tomiyasu. Daisen Maeda. It's with Takehiro Tomiyasu. Hidamasa Morita. And they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Yoshida. Endo. Let's fly here. Well, he was a long way from goal, but that didn't seem to bother him. Well, he won't strike a football much better than that. That certainly had the keeper worried. Well, possession lost, intercepted. Will it be? Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Yet another tremendous save to add to the list. Dusan Vlahovic. And a tidy challenge. And foul it is then. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. Yoshida. Morita. Now let's see if something comes of this. Not to be this time. Vlahovic, Andrija Zivkovic, Dusan Vlahovic. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Sasha Lukic. Here's Milinkovic Savic. Just made sure nothing came of that. And the keeper was up to the task. And over it comes. It could be up for grabs. And in the end, no damage done. And there goes the final whistle. It goes into the history books.
It's coming up next, live on EA TV. Good evening and welcome to Alcor. Welcome to the Al Bight Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Ghana versus Argentina. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Losing possession. And crossing here, Di Maria. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Well, you always feel there's a bit of extra pressure on Argentina going into the World Cup. It's been 36 years since last they lifted the trophy. But can they produce the sort of performances we saw from them in 1978, inspired by Kempes, and in 1986, inspired by Maradona? Well, they were unbeaten in the qualifying group. Really poor timing, and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card. Well, there it is, the first caution of this match. Well, he didn't need to make the challenge, did he? He's under pressure now. There's a long time to go in this game. Unable to keep the ball. Otamendi. Messi. Well, he's lost it. He has teammates around him. A fine reading of the situation. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. And the pass could do damage. Martinez. Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. Salis Abdul Samen. And it's with Andre Ayu. Can they trouble the opposition this time? And space to cross it. Can they take the lead? Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Well, visionary passing. Credit to them for winning back possession. Lionel Messi. Williams. Abdul Rahman Baba. Just cutting off the supply. Well, as the stats show us, this has been a really even game so far. There just hasn't been enough goal or invention. Oh, big chance here! Oh, great block. Now well, the pass not finding its target. Williams. Can he put them in front? Can they keep it out? And off the post, and touched onto the frame of the goal. Martinez, veering in field here. Well, getting in the way, superb save. And he's fired over the corner. Disappointing delivery, sailing over everyone in the middle. And given away. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. It did look on for them, but not to be. Thomas Partey. And it's with Andre Ayew. Oh, what a perfect ball now. How about this? 
Oh, that's really high-class goalkeeping. But now it grinds to a halt because the flag has been raised. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. He succeeds in clearing it. Could be a chance to break here. An effective challenge. Oh, fancy footwork. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Well, not very clever defending. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. Martinez. Now well, Molina. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. A really vital interception. This might be ideal for the counter. Will they profit from this situation? Could be! Superb stop! And running it back. Ayou. Must take the lead here. Salis Abdul Samen. Williams. It's there for him. I'm afraid it goes down as a wasted opportunity. Well, no excuses. He should have scored there, and the goalkeeper got really lucky. He can't believe it. Enzo Fernandez. Oh, he's given the ball away. And a good-looking ball. Oh, it was a crucial challenge. Trying to deliver it accurately. And room now out on the flank. It needs an accurate cross. Slipshod passing. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Well, it fizzled out. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. It might be the moment to get them ahead. And a goal. It was served up on a silver platter for him. Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. This could square the game, but no, thanks to the goalkeeper, opportunity not taken. Well, you're absolutely right, Derek, the keeper's done really well there, but really that should have been the equaliser, and there's not long left now. And foul it is then. There might very well be late excitement, five minutes left, and the margin just one. This could level it. Well, a corner it is, and they know they've got to be opportunistic at this stage of the game. And the problem not completely solved. Threat over for now, it seems. Working really well as a team to regain possession. And since they have the ball, a referee playing advantage here. Partey. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And the final whistle, a victory for Argentina. Precise.
this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. Good evening and welcome to Alcor. Welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And really looking forward to bringing you this World Cup Round of 16 match. It's Japan up against Poland. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here. But whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. Oh, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Well, couldn't keep it. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass. Oh, Stuart, they've got to score! Pivotal yeah. moment defensively. Played over. Not all that convincing defensively. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? Any goalkeeper would accept corner kick deliveries like that every day. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. And they did have the ball, but not anymore. Ito. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. A really sumptuous ball. Good bit of pressing. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Well, not hard to read that pass. Lewandowski. On to Piontek. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Nikobiak. Fine teamwork to win it back. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Oh, in with a chance. And there it is. The opening goal. 1-0. And they'll feel they deserve it. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Tomiyasu. Daisen Maeda. Hidamasa Morita. Just the challenge that was required. Arkadiusz Milic. Jakub Kaminski. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Has a go. It was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, had that gone in, the game was firmly in their hands. Now, though, they've got to make sure they don't let this slip. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. Daisen Maeda. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. 
And so it is the first half story. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. A meaty but fair challenge and it will be a throw-in. Lewandowski. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Vigoviak. It's a fine piece of attacking play from Lewandowski. And he has teammates to give it to. Ritsu Doan. Endo. Maeda. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Excellent defending. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. Now there to intercept. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. No foul play, says the referee. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Karol Swiderski. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And the textbook interception. Piontek. And now Milik. Can they convert? And it's offside. That was very close. 20 minutes to go in this one. Ritsu Doan, and that pass could be troublesome. And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Well, that was a great save. But the way they're playing at the moment, the equaliser can't be far away now. And looking to apply further pressure from this position. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. Can someone get on the end of this? Arkadiusz Milik. Lewandowski now. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? In the right place to cut out the pass. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. And a touch of finesse. underway, level pegging one goal apiece in this game and having already received a yellow card he's walking a very fine line not a great pass can they nudge in front late on here Well, it was a promising avenue of attack, but the momentum has been halted. And you wouldn't be surprised to see the card handed out. Went in strongly, decisively. Karol Swiderski. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. It's there for him! 
Well, the keeper had to concentrate. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. What a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Vlahovic. Chance to do damage. Alexander Mitrovic. The ball with Lukic. Vlaovic. Real chance. In it goes. That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Perfect tackle. Plenty of forward momentum. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Di Maria. It's with Paredes. Marcos Acuna. Determined defending. Milinkovic Savic. Tadic. No possibilities in the centre. Oh, a lovely ball. Lionel Messi. This could square the game. What a block! And as a play it goes, throw in coming up here. Strahinia Pavlovic. 
Dusan Vlahovic. Regained possession. Vlahovic. Delivering it into the box. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Well, I'd be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. What can they do from here? Vlaovic. Can he put it away? Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Messi looking for the through ball. And he might be in here. A goal! Real excitement. A back and forth type of game. Now they're level. So back underway following the equaliser. Sasha Lukic. Tadic. Takes some progress with the ball at his feet. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Messi. And return to Di Maria. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. a shame that he couldn't find the target from there well as the stats tell us they just haven't created enough chances they need to get the ball into wide areas get crosses into the box and then get their front players attacking the ball well in possession now let's see what they can create can they forge ahead a smart stop here over it comes and so it is, the first half store. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks, and you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. Paredes. Di Maria. Oh, a vital interception. Well, Lautaro Martinez had plenty to say for himself in the first half. Sum up his performance for us. Well, they weren't at their best, but with that equalise, you can see why he's... And read the danger magnificently. Well, if he gets this wrong, a penalty and a sending off, but he was spot on with his challenge. Oh, surely. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. So back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2 1 scoreline. Otamendi. Enzo Fernandez. A really sumptuous ball. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long. And this match is level again. So back underway, the game having been squared at 2 2. Martinez. Otamendi has it. Di Maria. Well, that's a well timed pass. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Able to get his body in the way. Chance now with the corner. Really getting stuck in. Messi. Can he give them the lead? And still a chance. Well, that's the end of that for now. No mistake from the keeper. Will it be punished? Velkovic into the final 20 minutes they've given it away oh lovely incisive pass well a chip that went awry well maybe it was the right option but his technique let him down there just the clearance that was called for 
Sasha Lukic. Milos Veljkovic. Tadic has it. And he might be through here. Well, he was on his own. He had the goalkeeper to beat, but failed to do so. Well, he just needed to show a bit more composure there. Take a little bit off the shot, I think. Di Maria. Martinez. And unable to keep possession. Can they do something positive? Well, if you're going to challenge like that, it has to be spot on. What do the referee think of it? It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. Milinkovic Savic. Tadic. Well read to ease the pressure. Molina. McAllister. Otamendi has it. Marcos Acuna. Well, timed his challenge magnificently. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. Paredes. Otamendi has it. Snuffing out the danger. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Tadic. And a long way out here. And fired against the crossbar. And I think the threat has been averted. And there it is, the full-time whistle. Well, they can't be separated. And goals very much part of the equation. Stuart has... Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the line. Good evening and welcome to Alcor. Welcome to the Al Fight Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Poland facing Ghana. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Lewandowski. A good and fair challenge. Williams. A real opening now. 
In it goes, an early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Let's see if something comes of this. Not going to get away with that because it's offside here. And he shouldn't be offside there. He's gone too early. And that's a waste of a great opportunity. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Andre Ayew waiting to pounce here. A time for calm on the ball. Matty Cash. Throw in here for Poland. Milik. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Zielinski. Svidersky. Zielinski. Lovely ball over the top. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Are you? Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. to intervene can they forge ahead no chance missed and a big chance at that Derek he should have put them in the driving seat there well beating his opponent tremendously strong in the tackle Lewandowski On to Zielinski. Can they take the lead? Poor pass. Lewandowski. Now Krikowiak. In position. Well, here it is again, and you have to say the 1-2 completely opens up the defensive structure. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. They might be able to get in now. Credit to them for winning back possession. Abdul Rahman Baba. Oh, breezing past him. Corner kick played in. Well, he couldn't pick out a teammate inside the box. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're... Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Excellent ball over the top. Lewandowski. Now, what can they produce on the flank? But well, nothing comes of it. Zielinski. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. 
Well, Derek, after a slow start... Well, the chance is on, Stewart. Still possibilities. And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. And the last touch off the defender, so a corner coming up. Can someone get on the end of this? Magnificent defending. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. And he read it superbly. Is this the moment? And a goal it is! But offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but he was just offside. Great decision by the assistant. Oh, he's given us away. Zielinski. That ball was put into the right area, but no one able to capitalise. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. And he stopped them in their tracks. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Later to the box. Well, the keeper had to intervene under a bit of pressure there. Zielinski read it well. Williams. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Well, he had clearly drifted into an offside position. Well, you can see from his reaction, he knew that wouldn't count. Well, far from the most accurate pass you're likely to see. Throw in to come. Krikowiak. Strong but fair tackle. Piontek. And it looked as though they might be in just for a second or two. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, still time for them to level it. Oh, good skill, and he's managed to beat his man. This could square the game. Just can't get it past him. Beyond deck. Well, they could run onto it here. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Ayu crossed into the penalty area. Credit to them for winning back possession. Zielinski. This is Glick. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. And there goes the final whistle. It goes into the history books as...
Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building. Hello, good evening to you. And part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night. 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone. And joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Japan and they take on Serbia. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important you get off to a good start. So let's hope... Opportunity here. Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class. Fantastic technique. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Zivkovic. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Zivkovic. Well, he's given it away. Ritsu Doan. So a throw in here. Chance to cross. Well, just went a bit too early. Offside. Zivkovic. Tadic has it. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Tadic. And it's played into the centre. And tremendous individual skill. He's in here. And a goal to square the game into the seat stop. So in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. One, one. And running it back. Keeper has it. High pressing at its best. Oh, good vision. Well, to think he only had the keeper to beat. Error by the keeper. Oh, dear. Well, that's not one that's going to linger long in the memory. Well, he had a go there, nothing wrong with that, but he's got that all wrong. He's given us away. Now well, that'll be a free kick. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Well, it was a promising avenue of attack, but the momentum has been halted. And you wouldn't be surprised to see the card handed out. Well, not enough subtlety about that free kick, I'm afraid. Well, the stats tell us everything. They just aren't doing enough going forward. They've been too predictable and far too slow in their build-up play. They need to do something different to get the breakthrough. Happy to take on the shot. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Eccentric goalkeeping. Kamada. Clean challenge. Nikola Milenkovic. And slipped through beautifully. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. And so it is. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched.
out and strongly to win the ball. Can he find the right pass? Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Could be! And a really good diving stop. Delivering it. And did his job defensively. Interception to snuff out the danger. Superbly read and executed. And offside just as he was ready to pounce. Pavlovich. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest, as they haven't been at their best today. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they are to go on and win it. Well, you've got to savour such moments. Space on the flank. Throw-ins given. Could cross it in here. Body on the line. Excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. And he read it well defensively. So a throw in here. Kostic. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Just couldn't capitalise there. Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Nikola Milenkovic. Dusan Vlahovic. Very good interception. And teammates around him. A fine reading of the situation. Shot attempted. And the keeper taking it cleanly. Well, this is a really good game of football. Both sides have played well going forward. There's been plenty of chances, goals, and a lot of near misses. It's been great entertainment. Yes, I mean, they're matching each other, attacking blow for attacking blow. It's a perfect challenge. Ten minutes left for play. On the attack, as there to be late excitement. Vlaovic. Here's Milinkovic Savic. Determined defending. And there's the feed into the box. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. High pressing at its best. How to dispossess your opponent. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Daisen Maeda. Could be threatening. And there is the referee's whistle for full time. Even Steven here, they can't be...
Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks for. Good evening and welcome to Alcor. Welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray in position to bring you live match commentary. And my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Argentina facing Ghana. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. He's in behind. And read the danger magnificently. Well, if he gets this wrong, a penalty and a sending off. But he was spot on with his challenge. Messi. Molina. Can he finish? In it goes! But it will not stand. Offside, Stewart. Well, it looked close, didn't it? He certainly thought so. He's making that clear to the linesman now. And they need to get tighter. And teammates to play it to. In position. The chance is on. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and the strike could not get any better. It threw the back of the ball with such power. What a goal this is. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. And Di Maria, nothing doing on the passing front. Well, not a bad plan of action, but through to the goalkeeper it goes. Martinez. Lionel Messi. Well, they're doing their best to get on level terms here. Well, it's a decent effort, but they're still trailing. They need something special here. Salis Abdul Samed. Dangerous looking through ball. Oh, goodness me, he's crashed it against the woodwork. Well, it's so difficult to get that on target. He's done fantastically well. He can count himself unlucky there. Martinez. And he read it well, intercepting it. And Messi carries it forward. What's he going to do from this position? Lionel Messi! Not what he was intending. Bad pass. An alert intervention. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Tremendous ball played through. Well, the keeper had a lot to do. Well, it's a great piece of goalkeeping. So quick off his line. Salisu. Salis Abdul Samed. Decent position. Could be. And denied by the post. But it looked so threatening, but the danger averted. Well, had that gone in, they would be in complete control of this game. As it is, they're still going to be a bit nervy. Well, they can't dwell on not getting the rub of the green. Perhaps they can create another chance now. And denied again! And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. A 
And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Messi. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Lionel Messi. And he was in the right place to intercept. Well, plenty to like about the first half performance of Inyaki Williams. What did you make of his contribution? Well, the attack will peter out. Keeper's ball. Elisha Owusu. He's given it straight to the opposition. 30 minutes to go then. And the pass could do damage. Martinez. And the keeper have plenty to think about with bodies around him. Just not looking confident in possession. Williams. A glorious chance. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. So underway once more. 2-0 the lead here. Fruitful looking attack. Oh, great vision. Well, no wonder he's got a smirk on his face. Good idea, but the execution lacking a little. Thomas Partey. Partey. Well, not a great cross, making the goalkeeper's job rather easy. Just 15 minutes remaining. Couldn't keep the ball. He's enjoying space. Messi in the vicinity. And a goal kick will be next. He's lost it. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. The cross is on. Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Is this the moment? Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Happy to take on the shot. Really well hit, but just too much height on it. Marcos Acuna. Di Maria now. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Oh, skipping away. Now can they counter clinically? It needs an accurate cross. Oh, could be. Defensive excellence there. And now it's over. And Argentina have to reflect on what has gone wrong here. It's a...
It is the first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Who will it be? Hello, good evening to you. And part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night. 60,000 capacity here. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Poland versus Japan. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. And that's great work to keep it in play. Takes it on! Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Now the delivery. Lewandowski. And Cash with it. Important interception. Yoshida. Daisen Maeda. And now with Minamino. Minamino. Yoshida. It's with Takahiro Tomiyasu. Minamino. And the keeper there to deal with it. Over it comes. Oh, no end product. Yoshida. Effort from long distance. Well, the goalkeeper dealt with it admirably. Ritsu Doan. Endo. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, visionary passing. Well, offside, but a tight call. Well, that was really close. It was almost the perfect run, wasn't it? Now, who can he play it to? A well, fine reading of the situation. Vigoviak. Piontek. And it's Vigoviak. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball Endo Ito well they're on the scent of something positive Zielinski it's there for him he can't hold on to it well threat about it well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Well, as spectacular as the save was, it can't be just about their stellar keeper. They know that. Well, you've got to conclude that it was completely overhit. The right place to cut out the pass. And the managers will now deliver their half. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Still level here. But the pressure escalating, and it wasn't taxing for the keeper. Oh. 
Zielinski. Now Krikowiak. Lewandowski. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, as the stats tell us, they just haven't created enough chances. They need to get the ball into wide areas, get crosses into the box, and then get their front players attacking the ball. And struggling even to just get hold of the ball here. Every pass hitting its target. Ritsu Doan. And that pass could be troublesome. Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now. Well, it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Well, feeding it back to the goalkeeper. Not problematic for the keeper. And coolly done, despite the mounting pressure. And back it goes. Now that attack going up a dead end, and the keeper has the ball. Fifteen minutes left for play. Well, it looked so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Really good attacking play. Takumi Minamino. Trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. And with that, the referee brings this match to an end. Both sides have the moments of...
packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Lionel Messi. And Argentina giving it away. Tadic. Radonjic. Opportunity. Keeper did his job to begin with. And holding on to it at the second time of asking. And the Serbia starting 11. Nemanja Radonjic plays with Filip Kostic on the flanks. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. He could pick out a teammate. Will it be? That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Leandro Paredes plays alongside Rodrigo De Paul in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Di Maria. Here's Alvarez. And space here on the flank. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. He's got the right idea with that pass. Well, that's been deemed offside, and maybe, Stuart, we could accuse him of being rather greedy. Yeah, that sloppy play. All he had to do was let the ball run through to his teammate there. Dusan Tadic. Mitrovic. The supporters want to see him have a go. Tadic. It's a perfect challenge. Well, in a game like this, we're always looking for the naturally talented footballers to come to the fore. Dusan Tadic has talent in abundance. Stuart, what might we see from him? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker. and then Oh, hang on, the... Stuart, look at this. Oh, a smart stop. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. And he takes it away. Chance here! What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Strahilia Pavlovic. Now with Mitrovic. Kostic. Mitrovic. Beautifully disguised ball. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. Well, it was a poor attempt, and a goal kick it is. Well, they might be onto something. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered well he's so good in those 1v1 moments and he's proved it yet again and he clears the danger oh did so well to deny him growing pressure here and another corner Messi played into the box well that's the end of that for now could be a chance to break here Alexis McAllister. Messi. And with that, the attack fizzles out. No space for them here. Head over towards the back post. It might still be problematic. Danger averted for now. This is looking threatening. Can they convert? Determined defending having won the ball back they might be able to profit no worries for the keeper so one minute of stoppage time that's what the officials have said a chance then for the respective managers to address so they get the ball rolling in the second half even Steven here so little to choose between the sides. A 
very timely interception. And scope for them to produce something exciting. But the danger averted for now. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Well, he didn't contribute enough in that first Oh, Stewart's a chance! And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Mitrovic. Here's Milinkovic Savic. Now with Mitrovic. They really look after the ball when they have it. Milinkovic Savic. Mitrovic might jump in front. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. So underway again here. 1 0 the score. That was a move of great promise. They could easily have been in. Messi. Argentina will get the throw in. Now we're into the final half hour. Excellent defending. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Pavlovic Serjan Babic Radonjic Tadic Oh, managing to beat him and the block by Otamendi Corner kick played in Well, still an issue here Tadic Must be sound goalkeeping well that's such a good save isn't it how did he keep that one out and a throw in for Argentina and that was a very fine read Tadic that is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances Alvarez theme emerging of wasted possession useful looking position you've got to say Mitrovic now counter attacking possibilities here but quick thinking defensively this looks threatening it all counts for naught and that'll roll through to the keeper the attack just fizzling out in the end now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one a real opening now there it is and he could scarcely have had an easier finish so back underway one goal apiece here Paredes on the offensive is there to be late excitement out of play for an Argentina throw the switch of play now Otamendi Tagliafico And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Dusan Tadic. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Radonjic. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? And that will do it. This game...
this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line. Good evening and welcome to Alcor. Welcome to the Al Bight Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry. And alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Ghana versus Poland. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Unable to make the mark with that cross. Chemisław Frankowski. High quality defending. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. But it didn't end up being a significant advantage. And so a free kick here. Nicely cut out. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Well, nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager, and that's why he's offside. Milik. Milik! And the keeper getting across to stop it. Who can he pick out? Not really the ideal clearance. And fine goalkeeping. Textbook closing down. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. quite the clearance they were hoping for and still danger here and he clears it out of harm's way not to be advised giving the ball away in that position oh he's gone for goal but the goalkeeper didn't have to work quite as hard as I thought he might initially Lewandowski well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Seydoux. Now, options are plenty. That's not a bad ball. Is he going to put it away? It could be up for grabs. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And Lewandowski in the thick of things. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Now can they create something? Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. And the referee has caught up with him following his indiscretion earlier. Not away completely. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Andre Ayew. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Surimana. Lovely ball over the top. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. They're making high pressing work for them here. Are you? And a good looking ball. 
context. And back underway. 1-0 it is. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Partey. And so it is, the first half story has been written. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. There's a slide draw pass. But a crucial intervention inside the box. It's there for him. And they could face difficulties here. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long. And this match is level again. So the ball is running again at one all. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Well, underway again. It's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Lewandowski. Safe pair of hands. Did his job. Good tackle. An incisive pass. And support available. Can he make it count? And begging to be put away. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor. But he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. So back underway. 3-1 the score. Thirty minutes left for play. Piontek, is this the moment? And the challenge, crisp and clean. And they know they need to stop him. Chance to make a game of it here. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Plenty of support here. A oh, terrific pass. And there it is! Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well, the action underway once more. And no shortage of entertainment. 3-2. Intercepted there. And a significant block following that cross. Well, it took a deflection. That'll be a corner. Delivering it. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? Not away completely. And a goal! Scoreline 4-2. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Piontek, can he get one back? Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Andre Ayew. What a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Oh. 
teammates available a decisive clearance it was superb defensive judgment to end the attack Kamil Glick Karol Świderski now Krikowiak Świderski Piontek well it didn't happen for them in attack and there goes the final whistle it goes into the history books as a win for them
was an edge to the atmosphere when these two called. It's North London against West London coming up. In other words, Arsenal against Chelsea here at the Emirates. I'm Derek Ray and sharing commentary with me today is Stuart Robson. Stuart, this is usually feisty. It certainly is. It's another London derby which has become very competitive recently. If both teams play at their best today, we should be in for a great game. Might be a chance here. They had to react and did. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And leading the line today is Gabriel Jesus. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. Must score! Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? And here's how it looks for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Thiago Silva plays with Aspilicueta in central defence. Jorginho plays with Mason Mount on the flanks. And the story of attack is one of a slight partnership. It did look on for them, but not to be. And that will be the keeper's ball. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Excellent ball over the top. But the flag is raised, and that brings this move to an end. Well, he saw the pass, but he just couldn't get it away quickly enough. A classic example of how to intercept. Mount. An alert piece of defending. Party. And slipped through beautifully. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And a goal! 1-0 it is. They've been bursting for the open. And now they have it. So the ball rolling again with the score line. Standing at 1-0. Poor attempt at a pass, really. And Chelsea looking dangerous. Good looking cross. This could square the game. Blocking it. Oh, tremendous goalkeeping. Offside, not that anyone knew. Partey. And the keeper can gather. Well, as the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. Thomas Partey. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? And not cleared away properly. Great defending here. And in at the second time of asking, just what was required. <laughs> Ball is moving again. 2 0 is how it stands. Nicely timed tackle. Martin Erdegaard. And a chance to whip it in here. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. So, half time, that will close the book off. Off and running again as we reflect upon an eye-catching first-half display from Arsenal. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Gabriel Jesus.
that's a super ball over the top. But the flag goes up offside. Well, he just needs to play that a bit sooner. The pass was definitely on. Well, not hard to read that pass. And room now out on the wing. A really top-notch piece of defending. Party. No mistake by the keeper. Being pressed and pressed high. That's how to dispossess your opponent. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Well, he couldn't have made better contact than that. His technique is brilliant. He's so unlucky there. Pressing high to win the ball. And that puts them in position. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Good physical play. Sterling has lost custody of it. A foul, but no whistle. Instead, advantage with Arsenal. Marcinelli. Jacker with it. And in the perfect position to read it. Dangerous looking through ball. Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself on side. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay on side. Might it be Gabriel Jesus? And it goes! A three-goal cushion! This is astonishing stuff! So back with the action, and Arsenal sprinting away with ease. Getting in there to intercept. Marcinelli and collected tidily he had plenty to think about and Chelsea get the decision from the referee well there's no getting away from it Arsenal are cruising Stuart well what can you say about this performance they've been absolutely brilliant they've played with such guile and creativity and their passing has been so expansive not many teams would have stopped them today bad challenge and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next and all the way through to the keeper and just five minutes remaining Chilwell N'Golo Conte now can they counter clinically but timely defending when it mattered Martin Odegaard. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. And so that is that. The referee blows for full time. A bit.
1981. And City and United are on a collision course today. Welcome to our live coverage of the Manchester Derby. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position, joined by Stuart Robson. It should be fantastic, Stuart. Well, it should be a classic, Derek. There's some great players on view here today, on both sides, and the rivalry just makes it that little bit more special. Holland and an astute piece of defending. De Bruyne. Foden. Opportunity. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Well, we really have to call that a squandered opportunity, Stuart. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. He should have made him work harder there. And so they start at 11 for Manchester City. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne starts with Rodri in central midfield. And the lone striker today is Erling Haaland. And just in there. Well, no wonder he's smiling. It didn't quite come up for him, though. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. Danny De Gea stands between the posts. Harry Maguire. Side, Raphael Varane in central defence. Scott McTominay plays with Fred in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. A real opening now. Ronaldo! Magnificent finishing from one of the world's best. Well, back on the way. And 1 0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Foden. On to Haaland. Manchester United keep the ball. Advantage. Read it superbly to take back possession. Good use of advantage. Inion, a chopping challenge. And the referee has got to have a big think about it. Bruno Fernandes. Back with me. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Now can they create something? And that is how to tackle inside your own penalty area. Just cutting off the supply. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. And there's the delivery. Not away completely. Well, it's time for cool heads. Rodri. Bernardo Silva. Forward with purpose. Foden. Here's Bernardo Silva. Grealish. Can they square the game? Oh, the post denied him. And the keeper in position to grab hold of it. Well, they're so unlucky not to be level now. It was a great effort. You just wonder if they're going to regret that. Yes, so near indeed. But now they've got to concentrate on keeping their defensive shape. did look on for them but not to be well there it is United haven't had as much of the ball but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking it's been a really good performance from them so far Ronaldo great chance to make it a brace but the keeper had his say well he has to get a second goal soon he's been brilliant today and over comes the corner Oh, a terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Well, racing past his man. He had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball. The goalkeeper. And so the first...
the second half underway United with the advantage but no room for complacency clean challenge Grealish City moving the ball forwards what can they do from here a fine reading of the situation and the counter looks on here options available can they keep it going crossing into the middle well goal kick just as it was looking promising Rodri well no doubt about it Stuart Cristiano Ronaldo in the first half deserving all the superlatives going well he's been the difference between the two sides and not just because of his goal but his general play has been really good he's got to score and there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Foden. Bernardo Silva. On a pass that lacks quality. Now, options are plenty. Grealish. And this would reduce the deficit. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Jack Grealish. And the pass could do damage. A gift for any goalkeeper. Scott McTominay. Fred. Ronaldo. Chance here. The net is staring him in the face. A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job. So the action underway once more, and it's beginning to look as though it's a case of how many for United. And that pass could be troublesome. Not going to get away with that because it's offside here. And he shouldn't be offside there. He's gone too early, and that's a waste of a great opportunity. De Bruyne. to be disappointed with that pass and he keeps going it's there for him well getting like a strong fist on the ball Ronaldo well he tried in vain to get himself back on side well he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer Phil Foden and he's won the ball They might be able to get in now. And danger still. Nicely timed tackle. Five minutes left. And United have it back. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And there's the final whistle, the big headline, defeat for City. What did you make of this? Oh dear, Derek, that was a worrying display.
They've met on countless occasions in domestic competition as well as on the European front when Chelsea and excitement and drama in prospect tonight here at Stamford Bridge in West London. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson and we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Chelsea taking on Liverpool. Salah! Well, he just couldn't make it happen. And a look at the Chelsea starting eleven. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Kalidou Koulibaly plays alongside Thiago oh, Silva. Oh, can he finish it, Derek? And up for grabs off the keeper. Oh, it's off the post. Oh, chance taken. There is opportunism for you. But a disappointed goalkeeper. Well, Liverpool restart the game. A wake-up call for them, perhaps. With that, the attack fizzles out. Henderson. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Oh, a finish of real class. No wonder he's celebrating. Take a bow. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Pulisic gonna get a try well he had the measure of it the goalkeeper and over it comes Thiago Silva off to cheek Tremendously strong in the tackle. Conte. And now with Pulisic. And this could pose problems for the defenders. And the cross didn't beat the first man. And giving the ball away. Oh, that's a fine save. Thiago. Oh, is he going to be punished here? And begging to be put away. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. James. This is Thiago. Oh, he's given the ball away. Plenty of support here. Thiago distributing shrewdly. And just missing the target. Well, they're at least making chances. Now they need to be more clinical. Armando Broya. Really good challenge. Pulisic. Is it going to be? Oh, good hands there from the keeper. So nearing the break, Chelsea hold the edge. Stuart, how about your assessment of oh, what Derek, is... big moment here. And Cully Barley thwarting them. Now the delivery, it's gone in beyond the goalkeeper and Liverpool on level. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Luis Diaz. And so the first half draws to a close.
And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. The inside route looking promising. Making sure nothing came of it. Loftus Cheek. Well, it could be on for him here. And in at the second time of asking. Just what was required. So the game has restarted, and Chelsea are the team with the lead. Henderson. Fabinho now. Liverpool in a position of menace. Salah. On to Henderson. Robertson. Well read to ease the pressure. Blocked his cheek. Here's Chilwell. Sterling. Well, he certainly wasn't offside by a mile. He's given us away. Room to roam for Chelsea on the wing. Nunez. Here's Robertson. Fabinho. That's a lovely ball. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And Chelsea get the decision from the referee. Koulibaly. Now with James. Showing a lot of guile there. Possession and patience, the watchwords. James and Sterling has it now Conte very alert defending to cut off the supply Thiago here's Robertson I'm trying to switch the play but he overhit it And into the last 15 minutes of action. Loftus cheek. Conte has it. Thiago Silva. Loftus cheek. Chilwell. Good looking pass. Conte. Conte has it. Precise ball movement. Ziesch. Onto Loftus cheek. Given away by Chelsea. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And just five minutes remaining. Blocked his cheek. And back with Chilwell. Blocked his cheek. And now with Pulisic. Pulisic now. N'Golo Conte. And the referee blows for full time. It's not the result.
action coming up next on EA TV. And welcome everyone to England's Northwest. The action soon to get underway here at Old Trafford. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Manchester United versus Arsenal. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. The lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea stands between the posts. Harry Maguire plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Fred in the centre of midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. United might be able to cash in. But Tomane, superb block. Can he get them in front? It's still alive. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, they've started the game really brightly here, and they've looked dangerous. But that was a top-class save from the keeper. Brilliant from him. Gabriel Jesus! A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. So on they go again. And that really should shake up United. Can they find a response now? Well, I think just lost his focus for a second, and a throw-in conceded. Ronaldo. Can he get them level? A smart stop here. Bukayo Saka. Farse. And a tidy tackle. And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. Sancho can he find the right pass poor attempt at a pass really Thomas Partey oh beating his opponent with ease well he has players waiting at the back post So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. Maguire. Fred. Scott McTominay. And back with Fred. Sancho now. McTominay. And a very good challenge. As you can see, Arsenal are seeing less of the ball, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really oh, Stuart, good... Oh, Stuart, they've got to score! And routine for the keeper in the end, the cross far too close to him. Well, far from the ideal pass. Sound piece of goalkeeping. McTominay, and it's fallen for Ronaldo. Oh, goodness me, off the post. Could pull one back here. Great defending. Well, they won't come much closer than that. It's a matter of inches from being a really good goal. Nelson. Oh, good-looking run. Nelson. Cross towards that far post. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. So the corner played into the box. And so the first half story has been written.
So into the second half, and no doubt about it, United really need to lift themselves. Ronaldo. Chance to reduce the arrears. And oh, it's in. We cannot declare this contest over. They still believe. Back in action then. And you sense United have the momentum at the moment. And he has options available. And let's give credit to the defending. Moving into the advanced position. Scott McTominay. Bruno Fernandes has it. Fred. Given away by Manchester United. Under real pressure here. Gabriel Jesus. We're into the final half hour. Lost possession. Thomas Partey. The cross is on. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. to give it away here and on the back of that particular challenge will the referee let the matter rest there Nelson how can he take them on and beat them options in the centre nice looking pass Fernandes. Well, this is building up to a nail-biting finish. These United fans are making so much noise. Can they get an equaliser here? Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. And the snuffing out of the cross there. So a deflection, and they can get ready for the corner kick routine. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, it still could be dangerous. Nice and easy for the keeper. Just 10 minutes remaining here. Cristiano Ronaldo. It's with McTominay. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Another perfect position to read it. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left and the margin just one. Fred being egged on by the crowd was an important piece of defending this might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity well, so many possibilities but it didn't happen for them Ronaldo oh this is looking promising Bruno Fernandes on to McTominay well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done so there it is the final whistle and a satisfying outcome for Arsenal and the many fans
Well, I must say, this stadium falls in the must-visit category for any football fan, should the chance come his or her way. Anfield is the venue. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Liverpool facing Manchester City. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And this is how Liverpool will line up. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Joel Matty plays alongside Virgil van Dijk in central defence. Fabinho plays with Jordan Henderson Derek, in the central they must finish defense. here. Just cleared away in the nick of time. And it's gone behind for the corner. Put in by De Bruyne. What an absolute waste of a corner. Good work from Liverpool to win it back. And I think it's fair to say Thiago has a magnetic attraction to the ball. He touches it more than most. How might he contribute in this game, Stuart? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls around the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. That's going to be a City ball. <laughs> Tremendously strong in the tackle. And threading it forward, and they could do damage. And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? That's good goalkeeping. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Oh, a nice looking pass. Back underway, 1-0 it is. Can he find the right pass? Joao Cancelo, the delivery. Well, it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. Not a great pass. Grealish, in with a chance. Oh, denied by the woodwork. Well, it's almost the perfect finish, but in the end, it's not quite good enough. Well, Liverpool haven't dominated possession, as you can see, but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. A routine save. Alexander Arnold. Interception to snuff out the danger. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Grealish. And still pressing. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. And by a wafer thin margin, offside. Holland. It's with Joao Cancelo. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Breaking at pace. And the counter-attack came to nothing. Darwin Nunez. Well, the keeper wanted to take it cleanly and did. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Holland. That's really good and effective physical play. The crossbar got in the way. Really important piece of last ditch defending. The ball is moving again. City trailing going into the second half. Will they come up with the right response? 
A City free kick forthcoming. Well, some referees might have reached for the yellow card, but not this one. Yeah, another foul, and he will get a yellow card, that's for sure. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? Firing it towards goal. And it's gone in. Just what was needed for Manchester City, who now have squared it. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Holland and the penalty is given the referee right on the spot and now a chance for them to take the lead here this for 2-1 and in it goes as coolly as you like never in any doubt from the spot well, the action continues is there to be a response from Liverpool now there needs to be Oh, he's lost possession. Henderson. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Excellent ball over the top. And now having a go. Long distance effort. Keeper did his job. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? All hands on deck. Hold on. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out any sign of danger. Henderson, and he was at thought just then. Luis Diaz. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. And that was a move of great promise. They could easily have been in. And Thiago. Now well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. time pass it's gone in beyond the goalkeeper and Liverpool are level so underway again and it's a story of parity two goals apiece in this one well that's a super ball over the top that's simply an opportunity wasted easy for the keeper the tackle take it away Foden. Now well, pressing high up the pitch, clearly the preferred option. Out of play for a Manchester City throwing. Grealish. He'll have a go here. Well, good technique in terms of how he struck it. Well, the fans are making so much noise here. They believe the winner's coming, but it needs a moment of inspiration for one of those players out on the pitch. What a finale we've got. And here come Liverpool. A goal at this late stage might settle things. But quick thinking defensively. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Foden. Now Walker. Bernardo Silva. On to Walker. And Bernardo Silva has it. Well, not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. There we have it. The 90 minutes are over.
high-profile occasion when Chelsea and Arsenal collide. And the venue for this game is Stamford Bridge here in West London. Derek Ray alongside Stuart Robson for this London derby. Stuart, what do you expect to see today? Well, Derek, you're absolutely right. Chelsea versus Arsenal has become a big game in recent times. And this... Can they convert? And not cleared away properly. Threat over for now, it seems. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy starts oh, in Derek, goal. Oh, what a moment this could be. Well, if you make your move too early, you're always in danger of being ruled offside. Partey. Nelson. Accurate ball in towards the near post. Ah, goalkeeper's ball. Not the best of crosses, really, was it? Oh, tight offside decision. But the flag does go up. Now, who can he play it to? Zinchenko. Disappointing pass. The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. And that is goalkeeping of the very highest order. Corner it is for Chelsea. Just far too close to the goalkeeper. Partey. Will he play it in? Well, it still could be dangerous. And Kessia. Nelson. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Party and support available. Is it going to be an opportunity? And thumped away. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. And that pass could be troublesome. Oh, did so well to deny him. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Well, he'd love to have that delivery back. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. They've given it away. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Made sure nothing came of that. And Pulisic has it. No problems for the keeper. Well, put quite simply, Chelsea's build-up play has been excellent, but their shooting has been poor, and for that reason, they're getting a bit frustrated here. And struggling even to just get hold of the ball here. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Teammates available. Xhaka, great block from Thiago Silva. Are they going to forge ahead? And he got to it fairly easily. In by Sterling. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at... St Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride.
Ziyech. An alert piece of defending. And Kessia. Farsi. White. A tremendous vision. Gabriel Jesus prepared to fire. Well, I suspected that might be difficult for the keeper, but I was wrong. Sterling. Lost into the penalty area. Oh, splendid header, but a fine save. Jesus. Dangerous looking through ball. But he drifted into an offside position. Well, he just thought about the pass for a fraction too long, and that's why it's offside. Well, that pass easy on the eye. Well, the pass in behind the defence. Quick thinking from the keeper. Gabriel Jesus. Nelson. Away they go again. What effect will that goal have on Chelsea? We're going to find out. Interception to snuff out the danger. Conte. It's with Hakim Ziyech. And now passing it through. So back underway following the equaliser. Granit Xhaka. Now Zinchenko. Thomas Partey. A nice ball over the top. Oh, they have it again. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And Pulisic has it. Martinelli. Will it happen this time? Absolutely spot on with that challenge. And not great from the keeper. Just ten minutes remaining here. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside the bridge, but can Chelsea find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly think so. Just listen to them. Well, they still have designs on the win. And a decent delivery. Did well to win the ball back. Gabriel Jesus. Nelson. Great block. Arsenal's corner late in the game. Can someone get on the end of this? Disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Loftus cheek. And there's the whistle. They can't be separated.
Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Davi De Gea begins in goal. Rafael Varane plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Scott McTominay plays alongside Fred in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Bernardo Silva. And Grealish. Grealish. Now with Cancelo. Foden. He must finish. It's gone in. City take the lead in the derby. A real jolt to the home fans. Not what they were expecting. So back in action. And it's up to United now to be inventive. Ronaldo Walker now Foden Holland Holland now with De Bruyne So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Cancelo. It is advantage Manchester City here. Now the advantage wasn't helping them, and so now they get the free kick. Well, not deemed to be a bookable offence, but still it probably entered the referee's mind. Diogo Dallo. He's showing a real will to win the ball. Laporte. It's with Joao Cancelo. And return to Grealish. Not all that convincing defensively. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Oh, lovely ball. Ronaldo! Laporte with a block. And still an opportunity. United doing well to regain possession. Jadon Sancho. On to Bruno Fernandes. Fred. On to McTominay. Could pull one back here. Oh, fine stop. Short corner taken. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Bernardo Silva. Well, nearly at the halfway stage in this one, and United have left themselves with an awful lot to do. Stuart, your impressions? I have to say, Derek, they haven't played well. They've been slow in possession, they've been poor defensively, and they've lacked a cutting edge. They need to perform much better than this. And Bernardo Silva has it. Foden. And now Rodri. Really a very poor ball. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. McTominay. Dallo. Now with Fred. An unforced error, you've got to say. And there goes the whistle. That closes the... And off and running again. It really was spellbinding what we saw from City in the first half. So let's see how the second 45 plays out.
De Bruyne. Easy save for David De Gea. I think most defenders would expect to be booked halting an attack in that fashion. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Diogo Dallo. Fred. Ronaldo. Maguire. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Harry Maguire now. Diogo Dallo. Fred with it. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Harry Maguire now. They do pass the ball with authority. Diogo Dallo. Maguire McTominay on to Fred Diogo Dallo on the ball Dallo and here's Fred this is Varane Shaw now with Fred McTominay on to Bruno Fernandes McTominay and return to Fred. Bruno Fernandes. Now with McTominay. Bruno Fernandes. And options in the centre. Dallo. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. Well, City haven't bossed the possession, as you can see, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. A very timely interception. Rafael Varane. Fred. McTominay. On to Sancho. And return to McTominay. Fernandes. On to Ronaldo, McTominay, on to Shaw, he read the situation defensively and did his job, this could be dangerous, well you can tell what the fans think of that decision, they're certain it should have been a penalty, Kevin De Bruyne, Walker now, De Bruyne, options in the middle, textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack, Foden, the ball with Rodri, Diaz, Rodri, Walker now, and there's the final whistle, the grim news from the Manchester United point of view.
If you want a high-profile encounter with real meaning, you come... Well, the stage is truly set for what should be a terrific night of football here at Anfield. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Liverpool taking on Chelsea. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to put. Well, it was a promising avenue of attack, but the momentum has been halted. You wouldn't be surprised to see their card handed out. Able to get a body in the way. Oh, he's given us away inexplicably. Must score! Can they slot it home? And there it is! An almost intuitive piece of finishing. Well, as Liverpool get the ball moving again, how will they react? Sterling ready. Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, in actual fact. Darwin Nunez. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Fabinho. It's a good Liverpool move in the making. Giving the ball away. Must be! Oh, a goal for Liverpool, who are now on level terms. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Armando Broya. There's a slide draw pass. Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. Darwin Nunez. Well, possibilities inside the box. The supporters want to see him have a go. Body in the way. Well, this one hurt the Liverpool cause. Corner awarded as they attempt to nudge in front. Over it comes. Oh, a lovely ball. Sterling must take the lead here. Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Salah there to win it back Loftus cheek well the perfect tackle really and now a throw in oh it was a terrible looking challenge and a big decision for the official here and a goal And they are back underway. Chelsea with the advantage. And he's lost custody of the ball here. It's still alive. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Sterling. It's there for him. And a goal! The quick one, too. And they turn the So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Chance to reduce the arrears. Oh, goal! He's going to be rightly proud of that moment. Sensational! Well, back underway, Liverpool still trailing, but the belief is certainly back. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. 
And it wasn't a great pass, was it? And we will have just one additional minute. No more time left. First half is up. Well, they get the ball rolling once more. Chelsea in front, but there might still be a few twists and turns before this is over. Pulisic. Conte now. James. Good movement. Conte. And now Sterling. Ziyech. On to Chilwell. Conte. James. On to Pulisic. Loftus Cheek. And now with Pulisic. Conte. On to Loftus Cheek. Well, in a word for Raheem Sterling so far, positive. Well, what a first half he had. I thought he was outstanding. He caused the defenders all sorts of problems with his movement and pace, and he fully deserved his two goals. And I expect more from him in the second half. James. Conte now. Thiago Silva. Very comfortable when in possession. Loftus Cheek. Here's Chilwell. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. No problems for the keeper. Fabinho. Matip. Fabinho now. Joe Gomez. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Now options are plenty. James. N'Golo Conte. Chilwell. Nicely cut out. He has time to play it over. That'll be a Liverpool ball. Oh, the ball lost here. Now can they counter clinically? Good tackle, it'll be a throw. And Pulisic has it. Conte now. Sterling. Well, I think the fans are doing everything they can to get their team back into this. But can they find that moment of inspiration and get an equaliser? And a chance to whip it in here. Just the challenge that was required. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Koulibaly well by playing keep ball like this they're keeping the opposition at bay Conte on to James not a huge chunk of added time one minute Chilwell and that is full time Chelsea have prevailed three points for them
from the English capital, a very special occasion. Arsenal against... Great night to be a spectator. Perfect weather here in North London at the Emirates Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Arsenal versus Manchester United. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And the main striker here is Edward Nketiah. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. David De Gea starts in goal. Harry Maguire plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Scott McTominay in midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. McTominay. On to Bruno Fernandes. Went in strongly, decisively. Must take the lead here. Oh, right in the nick of time. Nketiah. Gabriel Jesus prepared to fire. Now the attack fizzled out. Well, good idea, but just a little bit too much on the ball. Oh, he's given the ball away. Bruno Fernandes. It's a fine United move in the making. Sancho. Back with Sancho. Fernandes. Now with McTominay. It's with McTominay. Jaden Sancho. And foiled only by the crossbar. Well, United could easily be leading now. They certainly look threatening. You just sense a goal is coming here. Well, a game of such fine margins, but let's see if they can create another opportunity. Can he get them in front? It's opened up for him. Tenacious tackling, excellent defending there. Nelson. Here is Fred. Sancho. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. McTominay. And an astute piece of defending. An encouraging Arsenal move. The delivery. Safe pair of hands, did his job. Rafael Varan. It's with McTominay. Bruno Fernandes. Scott McTominay. Ronaldo. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Good technique displayed. Now will the cross work out for them? The end product just wasn't there. And time is up as far as the first half is concerned here at the Emirates. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Really nice ball. And he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. Scott McTominay.
Fred. On to Jesus. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. And possibilities inside the box. Can he put them ahead? Well, the challenge was clean, but the danger not cleared. And Kessia. Not giving their opponents a moment's peace. Alexander Zinchenko. Promising sequence. Teammates in the middle. And it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Bruno Fernandes. Now with Fred. Can he put them in front? Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Teammates available. Ronaldo. On to Sancho. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Can he make it count? Oh, good save. And the danger clear. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Getting forward. Fernand. Back with McTominay. Bruno Fernand. Well, he's lost the ball. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Nelson. Well, he has players waiting at the back post. And the flag has gone up. Not really showing the game know-how that we tend to associate with him. Well, he's got to have a look around him there. That's a waste of a great opportunity. Ten minutes to go. Manchester United on the front foot in the closing moments. Can they find a winner? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Advantage, Arsenal. And Kessia. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Fred, getting the better of his opponents. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And there's the whistle. They can't be separated after 90 minutes.
the match is underway. And so they start at 11 for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Bernardo Silva plays with Rodri. And oh, at one point on its flight, it looked as though it might be going in. Well, he wasn't afraid to have a go, was he? And you can see why. That was so close to being a great goal. Fabinho. Thiago. And Liverpool might be able to cash in. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Henderson. Phil Foden. Well, Manchester City unable to retain possession. Walker. Useful looking ball. Can they forge ahead? Well, not giving him any breathing room. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. Walker. A very effective challenge put in. Good work from Liverpool to make sure possession changed hands. Grealish. Well, that's wonderful attacking play, but a good piece of tidying up. Salah. Magnificent challenge to win it back. City pushing forward with options available. Can they take the lead? It could be up for grabs. And there it is, a goal. I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. And back underway, 1-0 it is. to their advantage well that would have put them in complete control he should have scored there Henderson he read the situation defensively and did his job oh good vision and the cross smuggled away the danger not over Increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. So back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Holland. De Bruyne now. And the advantage is with City. De Bruyne. They've lost it. Well, approaching half-time on the home side, very much in charge here, Stuart. Your thoughts? Well, they've played some really good football up to now. In particular, the way they've got it into their front players has been excellent. I've also liked the movement of the strikers. They just now need to take this forward into the second half. Fabinho. Return to Alexander-Arnold. And there we have it. And off and running again, it really was spellbinding what we saw from City in the first half. So let's see how the second 45 plays out. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And I think, unfortunately for him, the less said about that attempt, the better. Well, he had a lot of options there, but he's chosen the wrong one. That was a poor effort. Henderson. Mo Salah. Tremendously strong in the tackle.
Holland. And he might be through here. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Luis Diaz takes the shot. Goalkeeper in charge of the situation. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, no problems defensively. Superb block. It was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, as the stats confirm, City have controlled the ball. And that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Now well, we're into the final half hour. He's lost it. De Bruyne. Back to Holland. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Well, he didn't miss by much. Well, it was struck well, but he'll be disappointed not to test the keeper. It really did open up for him there. Salah. Corner awarded to Liverpool. And over it comes. Foden. Well, it was a promising avenue of attack, but the momentum has been halted. And you wouldn't be surprised to see the card handed out. And Thiago. And the Liverpool throw-in forthcoming. Poor pass. Oh, he's given it. The referee says penalty. And an opportunity for them to pull one back here. And he's missed spectacularly. Well, that's such a poor penalty. He's missed that by a mile. Far from a good pass. A oh, terrific pass. Well, a poor effort when all was said and done. And simple for the keeper. Well, he's made a real mess of that, hasn't he? What a chance that was. Bernardo Silva sliding it through. Well, he went strongly into the challenge. And the result is a throw-in. And fine work from Liverpool to win the ball back. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. Henderson. And so into the final five minutes. Salah. Firing it towards goal! Well, it wasn't quite as dangerous as I thought it might be. Out of play, City throw. De Bruyne. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Walker. And so the referee brings this match to an end and Liverpool have lost. That
Ceramica in Spain. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Villarreal against Atletico Madrid. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to... Joao Felix! And that is defending of the highest order. This is the starting lineup for Atletico. Jan Oblak gets the nod in goal. Jose Maria Jimenez plays alongside Stefan Savic in central defence. Koke starts alongside Jeffrey Condogbia in the centre of midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Chance to put them in front. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Parejo. Well, that pass easy on the eye. Well, Morales can certainly be highly effective. Stewart, what do you anticipate seeing from him today? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. In and around the box, his creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. And foiled only by the crossbar. From a long way out. And the keeper able to hold on to it. Well, they won't come closer than that. But they are creating chances and surely a goal is coming. And given away by Atletico. Moreno, plenty of options, speculative effort here, well let's call it a meaty effort, but certainly not accurate enough, well spot on with that challenge, well he didn't catch it badly, but certainly questions to be asked about the lack of accuracy there. That's very effective use of advantage in favour of Atletico. And that is how to tackle inside your own penalty area. Well, it was a risky challenge, but brilliantly executed. Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. Well, he tried in vain to get himself back onside. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. Stefan Savic, he's got to act with caution here. And given away by Atletico. Griezmann had to come up with the ball and did. Well, there you have it. In terms of possession, there's not much in it. It really has been a hard-fought battle so far. One of these teams needs to start taking a risk or two. And he could be in proper trouble here. Clean challenge. Good thing from his point of view. An incisive pass. Griezmann! Contopia! Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Joao Felix. Well, there it is, the referee's whistle. And that... Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And Atletico get the advantage from the referee. And the ball's gone. Good looking sequence. 
can he open them up here? Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Marcos Llorente. And that puts them in position. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. A lot of momentum to this Atletico attack. Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. And it has been judged to have been a bookable offence. Well, I think the referee's got that right all round. It was a penalty and it was a yellow card. This to make it 1-0. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Really needed to be spot on with the challenge inside the box. Condogbia, and it might be. And still they wait for the chance. Oh, great defending. Joao Felix. And it's a quality pass. And Griezmann's in here. Well, it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. Moreno. And the referee has pointed to the spot. He's given the penalty. And now, let's see if they can level it up. An opportunity to level matters. A goal! Accurate from the spot. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Can take the lead. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Jeremy. Griezmann gets himself into the attacking third with the ball at his feet. Well, he needs to be careful here. Good tackle, take it away. Teammates available. Oh, a penalty! And we might be about to witness the key moment in this game. And a chance to restore their advantage. In it goes! What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Opportunity, Moreno. This could square the game. Pivotal moment defensively. And what can they do to stop him running at them? And a very good challenge. Well, the attack just lost its momentum, and the keeper will collect. Oh, what's the keeper doing? And the keeper nowhere to be found, not that he's complaining. So back underway, the game having been squared at 2-2. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Marcos Llorente. And we will have just one additional minute. Condogbia. And that is the whistle for the end of the 90s.
football knows what you're referring to when you talk. It is true to say there's no love lost between these two sides, Real Madrid and Barcelona. And today they find themselves on a collision course here at the Bernabeu. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, sitting alongside me ready to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. Stuart, it's a privilege to be here. Well, it certainly is, Derek. This is a bitter rivalry between two of Europe's best, and I just can't wait for this one. It should be an absolute classic. Will he finish? Really high-class goalkeeping from Courtois. Oh, great attacking play. Well, not troubling the goalkeeper at all there. And from that sort of distance, you should be troubling the goalkeeper. Technique let him down there. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside David Alaba in central defence. Luka Modric plays with Rodrigo out wide. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And room now out on the wing. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. And there to intervene. Jordi Alba. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. And they're trying to get right into his face. Casemiro Tony Kroos and very deftly cut out Carvajal the ball with Luka Modric And Kroos failed to hold it. And support available. And as a play it goes, throw in coming up here. He continues his run. Can't miss, surely. Terrific piece of anticipation. And the corner played over by Dembele. Well, he couldn't quite keep it down. Vinicius Junior. Did well to win the ball back. Able to get a body in the way. A oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. Casemiro. David Alaba. This is Kroos. Carvajal. Tony Kroos. Well, not hard to read that pass. Pedri. Oh, good technique in terms of how he struck it. And the keeper's given it away, and excusably, well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Fired over by Usman Dembele. And the first goal, always important. Lewandowski has bagged it. So Real restart the game. Disappointed to have conceded. Can they find an equaliser? This could level it. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Cross with the corner. And a bit short with the clearance. Well, they can bring it out now. And the first half is in the history.
So back in business, the ball moving again, and Real with a bit of work ahead of them. Casemiro. On to Benzema. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And still an opportunity. An interceptor there. Robert Lewandowski illuminating in the first half of this game, Stuart. Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half. Scoring that late goal, but I thought his overall contribution was really good. And he got better as the half wore on. And in by Dembele. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. Vinicius Junior. Really good challenge. Well, as you see, Barcelona haven't had too much of the ball, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Well, that's right, preserving the lead and doing it really well. Benzema. Lovely ball over the top. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Well, the supporters think it's on. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. And fired over by Kroos. Dembele given away by Barcelona wasted possession again Modric Rodrigo an alert piece of defending this might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity well, that break looks so uh, promising, but nothing coming from it. Well, visionary passing. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. And Benzema wasteful with that one. Lewandowski. Well, inching towards the end of the game, and this is a very disappointing outing from Real Madrid, Stuart. Well, they've had no defensive game plan today. The forwards haven't pressed the ball. The midfield players have been outnumbered, and there is too much space between the defenders at the back. That's been the problem. Casemiro. Oh, good vision. Well, nothing productive, really. Barcelona, free kick. It'll be here. And perhaps a bit fortunate not to be shown the yellow card. Different story next time, no doubt. And that was a free kick hit with genuine authority. Well, you have to say that's a really good strike. Had that been on target, the keeper might have had a problem. Benzema and a fine tackle beautifully disguised ball just needs to stay calm oh no couldn't beat the goalkeeper and so into the final five minutes Casemiro here's Carvajal And that will be a Barcelona ball. And there goes the final whistle. And disappointment for Real Madrid. Three points.
Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to a lot. And welcome to the Rosas section of the Spanish capital. We're here at the Metropolitano. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. An action coming up from the Spanish top division, La Liga. It's Atletico Madrid taking on Sevilla. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And this is the starting lineup for Atletico. Jan Oblak is the preferred keeper. Stefan Savic plays with Jose Maria Jimenez in the center of defense. Coke oh, Derek, big moment here. Griezmann. What a start they made. So back playing once more, and the lead belongs to Atletico Madrid. Jesus Corona. Fernando. He's got to score! And saved by the keeper. Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. Koke, Mateus Cunha, Benildo, Koke with it, Felix, Koke, Griezmann, top class defending, Oh, great vision. Defended well. Marcos Llorente. A very timely interception. Llorente. Oh, a vital interception. Yusuf and Nesiri. Now well Molina. And he read it well, intercepting it. And that'll end up being the keeper's ball. They might be able to get in now. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Can he find the right pass? Well, it didn't go as a plan in the end. Griezmann. No advantage with them. Referee says play on. Well, sometimes advantage just doesn't work out. And the referee has awarded a free kick now. Oh, fancy footwork. Ocampos takes it on. Really sound defending. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Well, he opted for power from close range. He might be regretting that now. Now well Molina. And so it is, the first half has... Back in business then, a lot to like about Atletico's first half performance, but still plenty of work ahead of them. Sevilla have the ball again. Griezmann, and a useful cross. 
He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Lamela. Did well to win the ball back. Beautifully disguised ball. Cunha. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Lamela. And played in. Lamela. And fine goalkeeping. Well, what a magnificent save that was. It really was top-class goalkeeping. Griezmann. Marcos Llorente has it. Cunha. Really a very poor ball. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Can they slot it home? And in at the second time of asking just what was required well two one it is here into the advanced position well beating his opponent and in the end he's run out of space He has time to play it over. Top class defending. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Defenders need to cover. Fernando. Griezmann. Mateus Cunha. Delightful pass. Cunha. Now Griezmann. High quality defending. Correa. And return to Koke. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? And a chance to level it. Keeping the opposition at bay with that splendid challenge. Ten minutes left for play. Koke. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Jesus Navas. Now options are plenty. Time and the scoreline against Sevilla. What can they pull out of the fire? Not at all problematic for the goalkeeper. And it's gone over the line. Lucas Ocampos. Tremendous ball played through. Can they keep it out? And the keeper was finally able to claim it. Well, what a great piece of goalkeeping. Firstly the save, and then the recovery. Brilliant from him. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. And the referee blows his whistle for full time. No joy for Sevilla and their fans. No points either. Well, Derek, it's a poor result.
And they kick off here. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Mark andre Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Ferran Torres plays with Usman Dembele in the wide positions. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Robert Lewandowski. Based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. Now that short pass, this could be interesting. The defender doing his job. Whatever way you slice it, Robert Lewandowski is a goal-scoring force of nature. What sort of performance do you expect to see from him, Stuart? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. Can't miss, surely! Quite simply, an opportunity wasted. Easy for the keeper. It's looking promising. Textbook defending inside the box. What can they do from here? Can they forge ahead? Well, really, making the goalkeeper's life simple. That should be hit in the back of the net. That was a big, big chance. Torres. Lewandowski now. Parejo. Nicely timed tackle. Dangerous looking attack. Is this the moment? And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. Well, the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Lewandowski. And an astute piece of defending. Jackson. to react and did Jackson and threading it forward and he's found a bit of daylight and a goalkeeper on top of his game well it's great goalkeeping what a big save that is playing it in just far too close to the goalkeeper Barcelona have been awarded the throw-in. Well, as you see, Barcelona haven't had too much of the ball, but what they've done with it has been really good, and they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Read it superbly to take back possession. Shooting chance for Lewandowski. Marvellous anticipation. Jackson on the ball. Dan Yuma. It might be. Well, it wasn't a simple save to make. Who can he pick out? Well, that's an example of how to do it. Dealing with a corner. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Parejo. And a chance to level it. Blocking it. Palmed away by the keeper. Well, the first 40... And the second half underway, with Barcelona looking to build upon what was a largely positive first half showing. Pedri, and that pass could be troublesome. And for 
grabs off the keeper. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Parejo. Well, there aren't many better finishers in world football than Robert Lewandowski, and strong evidence of that here, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. They were playing fluent football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Oh, he looks threatening. Parejo! It's still alive and fisted away. And out for what will be a Villarreal throw. Well, the keeper deserves a lot of credit. That was a fine save, wasn't it? A wonderful goalkeeping moment. Now, will he be put to the test again here? And that is how to beat your opponent. Trigueros! There it is! A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. It was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Manu Trigueros. Now potential danger. Oh, it was there for him. Well, it's not a good finish, is it? That was a glorious opportunity. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Parejo. And into the last 20 minutes. And he takes it on. Now straight at the goalkeeper then. Now, will the keeper have to pay the price for that mistake? Well, they've managed to get away with it in the end, Stuart. Yeah, he's recovered it well, but that was a really poor mistake to start with. Manu Trigueros. Well, spot on with that challenge. That is how to apply the pressure. And a clear foul, but the referee... A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Very alert, defending to put a stop to the chance. And the counter-attack is on, options available. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Just ten minutes to go. Promising move from Barcelona. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. It has to be. Well, he's missed the chance, and the keeper didn't have to do very much. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. Barcelona have given us away. This could square the game, but no, thanks to the goalkeeper. Opportunity not taken. Well, you're absolutely right, Derek. The keeper's done really well there, but really that should have been the equaliser, and there's not long left now. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Oh, a nice-looking pass. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. And that is that, the final whistle has sounded, and it's a victory for Bob.
store for you today. The hype has been building. Well, I can tell you from past experience, this city is well worth a visit. We're in Seville at the Ramon Sanchez Pituan Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. An action coming up from the Spanish top division, La Liga. It's Sevilla taking on Real Madrid. And he's gone into an illegal position, unfortunately. And this is how Sevilla will line up. Yassine Bounou is the goalkeeper. Jesus Navas plays with Marcos Acuna in the wide defensive areas. Fernando plays alongside Eric Lamela in the middle of the pitch. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose. Hold on, Derek Charts here. Splendid defending. Denied once more. Macau. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Vinicius. And Benzema in the middle. Oh, super header. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Good work to win the ball back high up the bench. Well, they might be piling on the pressure, but they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. Fernando. Benzema. And giving the ball away. Real chance. Couldn't quite hang on. underway once more a wake-up call for the Real players maybe can they find a response now Rodrigo and they have possession again Ocampos That pass could be troublesome. Well, that was a guilt-edged opportunity for the equaliser. Well, I'm not sure how he's missed the target from there. That's a poor effort. Well, Sevilla certainly haven't dominated the ball so far, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Yes, really good without the ball, and the all-around performance levels have been high. An unforced error, you've got to say. Textbook defending inside the box and collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Carvajal. Course. Disappointing pass. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? Well, not giving him any breathing room. Lucas Ocampos. It's there for him. High echelon goalkeeping there. Playing it in. A really intense pressure applied. And the half time whistle is sounded. So the ball rolling again, second half underway. Will Real be able to up the game? Navas. And the cross comes to nothing. Tony Kroos. 
Carvajal. Benzema. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. And it's in beyond the goalkeeper. Real Madrid on level. So back underway following the equaliser. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. And the keeper's hand does the trick. And he clears the danger. This might be ideal for the counter. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Vinicius Jr. Mendy has it. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. And the flag does go up offside. Lamela. And Nesiri. And he read it superbly. Lamela. Moving forward effectively. Lovely ball over the top. Well, the cross came over, and a real need to get rid of the ball here. Modric. And he's given us away. Now, let's see what they can do here. And a tidy tackle. Lamela. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? All hands on deck. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Look at Modric. A wonderful intervention. Just 15 minutes remaining. That's useful play. And Nesiri. Played into the box. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Fernando. And he was in the right place to intercept. Makes the move to the inside. Can he finish? And a goal to level it up late on here. Just look at the reaction. So underway again. And it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Rudiger. Well, the stoppage time situation, one minute here. On the ball, Rudiger. And the referee blows the whistle, still all square.
Alexis, it's Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Atletico Madrid and they face Villarreal. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff and hope. Opportunity it is. And that's a defense. Oh, and the decision is penalty. A big chance for them to take the lead here. This to open the scoring here. And a goal! He was composure personified, and he's done his job from the spot. So back underway with Atletico in charge. Contopia! Well, I must admit, it didn't trouble the keeper to the extent that I thought it might. It's a good-looking Atletico move in the making. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. It was going to take an audacious effort to beat the goalkeeper from there. Marcos Llorente. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Condogbia. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. Decent effort there. Well, he has such good technique. He really did hit that well. He certainly came close there. Just cutting off the supply. Moreno. Jeremy. Let's fly here! Well, the keeper made the save pretty easily in the end. Koke. Lovely ball over the top. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. Well, not troubling the goalkeeper at all there. And from that sort of distance, you should be troubling the goalkeeper. Technique let him down there. Gerard Moreno. The timing was perfect. Ball one. This is looking threatening. Will they get themselves level here? Excellent defending, but the chance is still on. And the penalty has been given here. Chance to equalise here. And he finds the net. No difficulties encountered. So the ball is rolling again at one all. There could be consequences given that the yellow card was handed out to him earlier. And support available. Advantage Atletico. Well, the fact of the matter is sometimes there is no advantage and that was the view of the referee. He's protecting it well. Oh, super piece of play. And perhaps Griezmann missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball. Jeremy. Well, he keeps going, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. That's very effective use of advantage in favour of Atletico. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Joao Felix are certainly making attacking inroads Atletico Madrid but what can they do from this position he read the situation defensively and did his job oh is he going to be punished here really well hit but just too much height on it
looking to manoeuvre on the wing. A disappointing end to the move. Carrasco. And the fourth official confirming that we'll... It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. Well, they saw red earlier, and now they're seeing yellow, Stuart. Well, it's no good keep fouling. Thank and as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Well, he's gone back to give the free kick, the referee here. He tried to play advantage, but it didn't accrue. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Now, who can he play it to? Can they forge ahead? And the challenge, crisp and clean. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And that's not what you want to be doing when you've already been booked. Capu. No, high-quality defending. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Okay, and back with Kondogbia. Llorente, and the referee says corner kick. Well, they, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Well, plenty of good moments in the first half for Yannick Carrasco. What did you make of his contribution? Well, from so far out, it didn't appear to be the high percent. Now, he could be in hot water here, having already been booked. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And he has options available. And let's give credit to the defending. Well, no stopping him. Can he make it count? And read the danger magnificently. Well, if he gets this wrong, a penalty and a sending off. But he was spot on with his challenge. Twenty minutes remaining. And straight out of play by the goalkeeper, and it'll be a throw-in. Under pressure here. Oh, he's lost possession. Carrasco, speculative effort, never really close to the goal, and it will be a goal kick. Well, there it is. They're creating chances with some excellent attacking football, but the finishing just hasn't been good enough. They've been far too wasteful in front of goal. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Well, that would be straightforward for any keeper. The Atleti fans are certainly playing their part, but can the players respond and get this winner? Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it.
And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. And there's the whistle. They can't be separate. Ta-da. Quite simply, one of the great rivalries in world football. Well, you only need to look at the history. books to see how close this fixture historically has been Barcelona at home against Real Madrid on this occasion I'm Derek Ray sitting alongside me here on the gantry is Stuart Robson and Stuart this ought to be special well Derek this is a magnificent setting for a great rivalry let's just hope we see both teams play at their very best today what an occasion this should be oh fantastic effort he made great contact but the keeper more than equal to it Dangerous looking attack, and Barcelona have possession again. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. Mark Andre Ter Stegen. What a goal. chance this is, Derek! Oh, a vital piece of last ditch defending. Carvajal, Modric. Possession lost, intercepted. And they know they need to stop him. Can he finish? What an important piece of defending. Now sending it in. It could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. the greatest header but a skip defending not much time to make up his mind whatever way you slice it Robert Lewandowski is a goal scoring force of nature what sort of performance do you Derek, expect they must finish here safe but still a chance and there it is a goal I must say much to the annoyance of the keeper and Barca get the ball moving once more. How will they react? Just the challenge that was required. But they could run onto it here. Well, the flag was up in good time, bringing that move to an end. Well, he's just got to be more patient there. He's gone too early. Out of play then. Barcelona throw coming up. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Look, look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Lewandowski. Benzema. But 
a shocking pass, really. What can Real do from this position? And it might be. It's in the net. Back to Karim Benzema. 2-0 now and back underway. Modric. Well, almost at the halfway stage and Barcelona with a few problems to solve. I think that would be one way to put it, Stuart. Well, they've been outplayed in this first half and they need that half-time whistle to come soon so they can regroup, change one or two things tactically and come out with a better attitude in the second 45. Mendy. Now Casemiro. And it's a quality pass. Federico Valverde. He's given it away. And he's made headway. Tries to lift it. And a goal here! Well, it took a definite nick. And nothing the keeper could do about it whatsoever. So back on the way here, and Barca within touching distance. The high press was very much on. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Defy. Big chance. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. Who's going to get on the end of it? What an absolute waste of a corner. Well, the first 45 minutes have come. Well, back underway with Barca hoping to find an effective route back into the game. And that will be the keeper's ball. And take it away. Modric. Now with Benzema. Well, Usman Dembele stamped his authority on the first half. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, he's done okay in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball, he's used it well, and he's been energetic. But unfortunately, that can't be said about the rest of the team, who need to improve if they're going to turn this around. And good pressure high up the pitch. David Alaba. Mendy has it. Well, possession lost, intercepted. Karim Benzema. Modric. Here's Carvajal. Chance to finish. Brilliantly blocked. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. So back underway at 3-1. Mendy. Well, Real Madrid have certainly dominated the ball, as you can see. And that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Yes, who knows? Maybe another opportunity in the works for them. Tempele, not a great pass. Teammates available. David Alaba. Well, a foul, but the advantage with Real Madrid. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Couldn't quite find his teammate. 
Useful looking ball. On the pass in behind the defence. Quick thinking from the keeper. Modric. Mendy has it. The ball with Luka Modric. And Valverde. And Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore. Committed challenge. Rodrigo. Carvajal. And return to Modric. Options in the middle. Just the challenge that was required. Well, not long to go now, and it's not exactly going according to the script as far as Barcelona are concerned. Well, there are two main reasons why they're losing this game. Firstly, they've not shown enough desire to close the opposition down. And secondly, they haven't defended their box well enough. It's been a poor defensive display. Mendy. The ball with Luka Modric. And intercepts again. The referee blows his whistle for full time and Barcelona... going head to head today. The stadium is full and everyone is excited and ready for this one. Well, I can tell you from past experience, this city is well worth the visit. We're in Seville at the Ramon Sanchez Pituan Stadium. My name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It's Sevilla against Atletico Madrid. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to... Well, placement over power, but it didn't work out for him. And this is how Sevilla will line up. Yassine Bounou is the goalkeeper. Jesus Navas plays with Marcos Acuna in the wide defensive areas. Joan Jordan plays alongside Fernando in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And here are the starters for Atletico. Jan Oblak stands between the posts. Stefan Savic plays with Jose Maria Jimenez in the center of defense. Angel Correa plays with Antoine Griezmann on the flanks. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. 
Can they forge ahead? Able to get his body in the way. Not giving their opponents a moment's peace. Excellent defending. Mateus Cunha. Marcos Llorente has it. Llorente. Cunha. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Oh, managing to beat him. Now well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Oh, chance missed. Nil-nil it remains. Well, chances don't come much better than that. What a miss that is. Johan Jordan. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Good movement. Well, wasted opportunity here. Would have been a decent chance, but offside the verdict. Mateus Cunha. Oh, a nice looking pass. Wonderful block. Chance to put them in front. An important challenge, but they must remain organized. Oh, that's a fine save. Who can he pick out? Well, they weren't able to capitalize. Oh, what a perfect ball now. How about this? He just needs to keep a cool head. The save was a good one. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. Oh, he's given us away inexplicably. Well, he's just spooned it over the top. And intercepts again. Now, what can they do from here? Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. So the corner played into the box. Jesus Corona. In the textbook interception. Breaking at pace. Well, it could be on for him here. Safe pair of hands, did his job. Really a very poor ball. Koke. To take the lead. That is a tackle and a half. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. And a good-looking ball. And there it is! The breakthrough! That will do nicely! Well, we can see it again now, and it all starts with the pass over the top. It takes out so many defenders, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a... Well, it's advantage Atletico after the first 45, but there's a long way from being settled. Cunha. A oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. Body in the way. Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to their lead. Smart stop. Well, he took care of it defensively. Now can they counter clinically? He's in behind. And it goes to square the game. What a contest. This is turning at me. So underway again following the goal that made things level.
Koke. On the ball, Joao Felix. Well, he's given it away. And teammates around him. Vainilda. Koke. Cunha. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. Griezmann. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. This is looking threatening. Determined defending. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Well, it petered out. Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Well, great read there to intercept. Savage. Marcos Llorente has it. Moving into the advanced position. Joao Felix. Can he put them in front? And intercepts again. Marcos Llorente. And here they come now, Atletico looking for a late winner. Now well, the attack will peter out, keeper's ball. This might be ideal for the counter. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. And a harmless cross gobbled up. Marcos Llorente. Great pressure to win the ball back. Can they forge ahead? Yes is the answer. And that could be oh so important. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Jimenez. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. And the referee blows his whistle for full time. No joy for Sevilla and their fans. No points either. Yes, Derek, there was very little in it for much of the game. I'm sure they feel they deserve a point at least. And it's obviously disappointing to concede in that manner so late on. But they just have to bounce back.
La Liga. It's Villarreal facing Barcelona. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Barcelona, a free kick. It'll be here. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen in goal. Oh, can he score here, Derek? And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. 1-0 then. Top class defending. And a chance to level it. The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. It's a neat move. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. And he keeps going. Moreno. And a goal! To level this contest! All even! So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Magnificent defending. Lewandowski. Dan Yuma. And a fine tackle. looks promising oh good looking run wonderful chance oh a great chance it was goalkeeper has it <laughs> Parejo creative look about this they could nudge in front and really tried to blast that one past the keeper but his radar was a bit off Making sure nothing came of it. It should be! Well, when all was said and done, he's failed to hit the target. Now, what's the keeper playing at? Well, he might be onto something. Not problematic for the keeper. Well, over the last 15 minutes, Villarreal have started to take control, haven't they? And have played some really lovely football going forward. They must now make it count and get themselves in front. Oh, a nice looking pass. And denied by the post. Well, the keeper has it, and all is well. Well, it is now, but the striker did everything right, barring a couple of inches. Well, I have to say, Barcelona are so unlucky not to be leading now. They look a real threat at the moment. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Lewandowski. Superb block. Constantly thwarted. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Capu might go ahead. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. This looks threatening. Can they slot it home? And so it is. The first half has come... Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Dembele. Jeremy. 
But it stops a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Well, a lot to like about Gerard Moreno's first-half performance. Interested to get your take. Well, he certainly got his team back into this game with that goal. Because up to that point, they hadn't played particularly well. I think he's had a decent first half, but he'll be looking to build on his goal in the second 45. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Tries to lift it. Do they oh, and that is an audacious chip. Well, he might smile. The goalkeeper has no interest in smiling. Underway again with Barcelona in the lead. Now potential danger. No way through. Moreno. Opportunity it is. It has to be, surely. Oh, a save of the highest order. Well, he got his angles absolutely right. What a good save that is. Delightful pass. The end product just wasn't there. Takes the shot. Oh, good save. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. And the referee has given the advantage to Barca. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? He's in behind. Splendid defending. Oh, the penalty's been given. And it's not what they had in mind. It's falling apart for them. Well, no cards handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. And a timely penalty save. Corner kick played in. Well, not the best clearance. And fine goalkeeping. Not quite what they were working on in training this week. Well, you've got to savour such moments. A very good tackle. Dest. Moreno. Oh, he's lost possession. Magnificent from Mark andre Ter Stegen. Well, that was the big chance they've been looking for. And that could be the match-winning save. Yes, end-to-end -end stuff, but now they're forced to track back. A really sumptuous ball. Oh, that might have sealed it for them. Well, he has to make the keeper work there. That's a bad miss. Run on the cusp of full time. The home side keep plugging away, but find themselves on the wrong end of the scoreline. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, it's been a fairly even match, but at key moments, they've just been second best. They could have defended better for the goals, and they've missed opportunities at the other end. It'll be a disappointing result if it stays this way. This could finish it! Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? So, two minutes to be added on at the end. Counter-attacking, very much an option. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way.
Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. An action coming up from the Spanish top division, La Liga. It's Real Madrid against Sevilla. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Will he find the net? And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. 1 0 then. Casemiro. Now let's see what they can do here. Well, far from the ideal pass. Valverde this is Alaba Mendy Casemiro Carvajal he has time to play it over splendid tackle and a throw in coming up Casimiro and support available but really sticking to the task defensively Eder Militao. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Lamela. Casemiro. Rudiger has it. David Alaba. Now Casemiro. Carvajal. Rodrigo. Well, very effective play in possession. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. In with a chance. Well, to think he only had the keeper to beat. Couldn't take the opportunity. Well, the half-time interval is fast approaching. Real Madrid leading. Stuart, your critique of that first half display. Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. And possession given away. Jesus Corona. And a chance to whip it in here. Fernando. Has eyes for goal. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. But he's gone short with it. Can he find the net? No real threat from the shot saved by Courtois. And that is that half time here on the spot. The ball moving again. Real have the lead, but they won't be taking anything for granted. Skipping away. Asensio. Oh, did so well to deny him. Trying to pick out a teammate. And an effective clearance. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. A 
I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Must be! And the keeper more than equal to the task. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Can he take the chance? Tenacious tackling, excellent defending there. Asensio. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Plenty of options. Real chance. And a goal to square the game. Edge of the seat stuff. So back underway. They've leveled it at 1 1 here. And give it away. And now passing it through. Oh, it was a close run thing, but the goalkeeper just got there first. Mendy. Federico Valverde. Going well. Rudiger. And he stopped them in their tracks. He's in with a chance. Oh, it was there for him to take the chance. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Just 15 minutes remaining. Well, it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. David Alaba. Well, these Real fans believe there's still one more big chance coming their way to win this game. What a finish we've got on our hands here. Can they nudge in front late on here? Casemiro. And they did have the ball, but not anymore. Good use of advantage by the referee. But no discernible advantage. And quite rightly, free kick awarded. Well, in the grand scheme of things, pretty straightforward for the keeper. Casemiro, a very good tackle. Marcos Acuna. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level, and extra time is coming.